Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Summer Racing Freedom 500. Right now, we're here with our drivers for the Freedom 500, and uh, we're getting ready to rip off a 100 lap endurance race with 19. Yeah! Exactly, dude. Travis Pastrana, that's just an example of how. With NOS Nitro Systems on them, brand new Nitto tires, and we have one Toyota Camry. Ryan Turk's driving that. We'll see how we'll see how far he makes it, folks. So, a uh, couple things, you know. I just want to thank Summit Racing for sponsoring the show. The staff, you know, out here running the pay-per-view, the Freedom Factory guys, incredible. They've all done an amazing job. Yeah, the hell yeah. Especially. Uh, Gotta give a plug to Josh, Alec, and Ryan, man. Those guys have been working like crazy here at the Freedom Factory. So, and Alan, and my boy Alan. So, and then thank you to you guys for coming because obviously, you know, this race is, you know, no one's here for anything. It's not like you can win a million bucks, even though someone might have heard that on the internet. This is like a total fun bragging rights race, and you guys are going out of your way to come do this with us so thank you so much and uh hope the crown vicks hold it down for you today so that's the goal uh and thanks to the fans dude we got fans at the freedom factory which is exciting and all the people on the pay-per-view you know it's huge we're you guys are what brought this track back to life so thanks so much but uh let's get into the driver's meeting a couple things you need to know these crown vicks weigh like 4,500 pounds so the goal is if you're in a crash Let's not hit driver's doors. You know what I'm saying? Let's just aim for, uh, you know, obviously there's going to be a couple of crashes, but I think with this field of drivers, it's going to be so fast and probably a lot cleaner than our last couple races. But if you do get into a scurry, you know, let's try and not hit driver's doors. You know what I'm saying? I probably shouldn't tell you guys this, but we have six, five or six, six spare vehicles. So if for some reason, your car gets totaled or just breaks down early on. We do have some spares. You can only get one spare. So if you if you actually crash two cars and there's still a spare left, you don't deserve a third. So a couple things you need to know as a driver. Okay, you cannot modify your cars to make them any faster. I'm talking to Chelsea Denofa here. Chelsea last time adjusted his alignment, but still lost. So, <laughs> no adjusting the cars in any way, shape, or form, please. The tire pressures are all set. The cars are all set. Uh, you know, they all have an equal nitrous jet in them. It, everything should be set so that it's an even field of cars. Minus the Camry, we have no idea what that's going to do. But please, everybody, leave your car alone. No weight reduction. Nothing of the sort. Just leave it. Make it look cool, but please leave it alone. Uh, and then remember to turn on your nitrous bottles. Okay? All the bottles are shut because the nitrous will slowly leak out. If you want to use your nitrous in qualifying, go ahead. But make sure you turn it on before the main race because you're going to be kind of pissed when you hit your nitrous and nothing comes on. And then the little lights on the trunk are actually, those light up when you hit your nitrous. Just a little indicator to the other drivers. You're using your nitrous. So qualifying, this is how this works. So the actual race starts around like 7.15. Qualifying, we're doing at 6 p.m. sharp. Reason I say sharp is because we got to be dialed in. We got a freaking Super Takano A29 attack plane flying over to buzz the, the track after the national anthem. So, yeah, yeah, dude. Shout out to Sierra Nevada Corporation for helping make that happen. So that's going to be really tricky. Honestly, I have no idea what we're doing, but we're going to radio to it with the helicopter we got parked over there. Hopefully all goes to plan. Uh, but 6 p.m., basically, we're going to pull you guys out. The first group's got to be ready at 5.50 and then each group to follow. The way it works is you'll go out. We'll have a caution lap. There's four cars on track at a time. So kind of spread out because once they green flag you, you're going to do two hot laps. Two hot laps. That's all you get. And in that time, you're going to set one of your fastest, one of the two laps going to be faster than the other. And that does the driver's order for the start of the race. We're doing a two wide field. So anytime we're under caution, we're two wide, not three wide, not one wide, two wide under all cautions. And I think that's pretty much it for qualifying, right? Is that, is that kind of dialing in? Oh, yeah. And then after your two laps, we'll slow you down and we'll help you exit. If you, oh, yeah. 
and you'll all have radios. We're going to give you guys all a radio transponder and some headphones. Unless you have your own headphones, you can run those. But we'll have a little bit of communication with you. Usually we get about half the drivers actually can communicate. So that's good. Uh, here's the deal. If you're in a crash or, like, say you just get – say you spin out because you suck at driving and you end up in the infield and we stay green – Stay down in the infield. Don't try. Well, here's it, it. It all depends. Like it's your discretion. But if you can make it back out cleanly, like the pack is gone, you know you can pull out. But most most likely, if you have a flat tire or something like that, stay in the infield, just out on the concrete pad in the center, and then we'll go into a caution at some point and we'll pull you out. There's gonna be guys right over the hill right here by this blue shop. All you gotta do is pull up. You don't even gotta get out. They're gonna change your tires whatever it takes, or they're going to say, dude, your car is destroyed. Hop out. We're going to put you in a spare. Are we going to exit crash for that right here? Or yeah. yeah, yeah, you'll exit right here. This is the one and only entrance and exit. So you'll pull out under caution. We'll uh, just come over the hill slowly. Please don't bomb the hill because there will be people working. And uh, we'll get your tires changed, dude, some fresh nittos, and we'll put you back out there, you know? Uh, Let's see. <laughs> Travis will let you pre-paint the car because it's likely you're going to use it, dude. <laughs> uh, oh, here's the thing with caution. We always we have this problem because a lot of these guys are not circle track racers. Obviously, we've got a couple NASCAR guys, some really good circle track racers, but some of us haven't raced. Is anyone who's never raced oval in their life? Yeah, we got a couple drag racers, drifters that have never raced oval in your life. So when we're under yellow... Right? There's no passing. Whatever position you are in, you cannot gain or lose position, right? Yeah, no matter, like, what, I don't know. What if someone's a lap down and they're leading the pack and we go into a caution? We're just going to leave them in position. You'll stick them tail? Okay. So he's going to be, he's running the race, and he might stick you tail. So if we're under caution and he points a flag at you, tells you to go back a pack that'll be that but you should know if you're down a lap so kind of be aware of that and uh we'll just put you we'll have communication so you might come on and be like driver car number five whatever go to the back but, but if you're down a lap and you want to you know All right. battle with someone else who's down cheer, a lap cheer. cool but don't mess okay. up the leaders of the race if you're oh, down man, a lap. A you know that's this. just right. that's just bad racing you know you gotta let the leaders okay. run so all right, qualifying group. Yeah. Hold on. So basically the way it works is the inside car would, like, say there's a field of two rows, right? The inside car would be pole position. The outside car would be second. Who's so when we go into a caution, if you're in a line of cars, the guy you're behind, if there's an open spot on his right, you can go up next to him. Okay, so then we'll bunch up under caution. That's when it gets really rowdy. Tanner Faust. Essentially, when you're under yellow... We'll be oh, going. Yeah. We'll do our Carter laps. Nova? The uh, the van will pull right. off track. Alex right? Bowman. And then, do you normally shut the okay, caution light off? Yeah. NASCAR, He'll shut the Chelsea caution lights off. He'll steam around the track. And then that means Richard that Rice. next Vice time around, garage. we're going to go green. And Dude, the way that works, falling. are we doing the flag wave or are we going to do the box start? From side by side blog. Okay. So here's how it's going to work. If we're under yellow, you're going to see oh, the yellow lights really? shut off. As we're coming around, that means the next lap Jack we're going to go green. So Jimmy. somewhere when we're on turn four, you'll see two yellow lines. He is going to give a signal from the flag stand, green flag. Randy Pope. Live action begins again. Don't nice. jump the starts. I mean, Kevin we allow it a little bit, KSR you know, because I'm not going to lie. I'm guilty of it, too, because everyone yeah. starts to do it. Brent but, you know, just PFI be cautious speed. that. Another note, Crown Vicks, dude. Nice, They're transmissions. Nice. Some of the stoutest Church. units ever built. Crown Vicks are like the tank of the road. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But if you leave your car and drive right. the whole race Heavy D. and let it shift every corner, it's probably not going to make the whole Ray. race. So once you're going, you want to be in second the whole time anyway. Your boy if you're in cleared. second, the car is like a second faster than if you All let right, it shift. So cheating. run cheating. second the whole time you're going. Whistling but diesel. then don't catch yourself on the restart. You got to go back Strong, down to dude. first and then back diesel up to second. Dave. Ryan, I don't know what you're going to do in the camera. Oh, yeah. Haley Deegan. So, yeah, run in second gear or you'll oh, yeah. end up just killing the transmission. Dude, and then, uh, okay, so we're gonna you know what's a really good trick is all the air conditioning in these cars groups. work. So under caution, we that always blast the AC, earlier. too. Like, you can do that. Each car gets the uh, opportunity to make two Frick, honestly, if we get it oiled down, we're probably going to leave it. 
if First if someone wrecks, LMLG, you know, Blake we're going to get him out of their car. We got a loader. We're going to snag that, snatch that puppy Second up and keep running. So uh, the really the only thing uh, we're going to penalize drivers for is jumping Nick the Steve. caution and turning a car like unnecessary. You know, like if you turn a car up into the wall, for sure you're getting penalized. So that means a pit maneuver from the, the tall high side of the rear end of the car. If you turn them up into the wall, we could have a really nasty accident. So, I mean, there's going to be racing where guys end up getting spun, but if you come down on somebody in the corner and it looks clean and it is what it is, that guy will call it, but he's pretty lenient. It's just one of those things. We don't want – end of the day, we're racing freaking Crown Vicks, so we don't want anybody to get hurt. So, you know, play that into the ear. Uh, put your belts tight as hell because the seats are horrible in these cars. They're horrible. I actually had seats ordered. Chelsea helped me get seats, but they, they arrive in about two hours. So the freight got messed up, dude. You know, the guy got stuck in that canal, and here we are. Uh, so put your seats tight. You're going to be riding like this in the seat the whole time. Your arms will get wore out unless it's tight. But that's I think that's all I got for the driver's stuff. What's that? Oh, yeah, you can hit the pace car. If someone – spins the pace car out i we might give them a bonus lap like it's full totally fair game on rubbing with the pace car i mean my friend jh is driving it so i'm all for it the only problem is his bumper is your height with your radiator so that's just something you'll have to be cautious so what's that like 10 to go yeah yeah so our scoreboard broke Scoreboard's fixed. <laughs> and so we will, we will, nice job. We will be able to see the laps on it. Some of the digits, you know, they don't work the cleanest. I'm going to be honest. So it's like, it may say 80 laps and it looks like 60 laps, but when it comes to the end, he's going to be holding up 10 to go. Well, he'll tell us, you know, halfway, 10 to go, five to go, white flag, checkered flag. So, does anybody have any questions as far as, like, flag? If you have a black flag waving and pointing at you, you obviously are doing something wrong. you got to get off. Or if you have a flat tire, you got to get off. So we got to change your tire because it just – you're going to go so slow and it's going to wreck the track, which the track's in pretty bad shape, so it's not that big of a deal. What else? Anything else? Are we dialed? Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves. we got qualifying coming up. You guys got a little bit of time. Go ahead decorate your cars. Everyone keep an eye on Chelsea. No one, no one modify their cars in any way, shape, or form. And uh, we'll freaking do this. So thank you, guys. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, this lovely lady is, our, is doing all the timing equipment, right? So she's in, in charge of the whole race as far as lap timers, things like that. All the cars already have transponders on them. Uh, go over to her. She has a race receiver that you can plug your headphones into, or she'll supply you with a set. And that is how we will communicate. The, the flag stand can literally talk to us in our ears and tell us certain communications. It's good to have. But uh, she, yeah, she's down there now, so go ahead, guys. But thank you guys so much. Freedom 500 is going to be a ripper. Let's do it. I think Alan, Alan might have a couple other things. The uh, 645 getting the cars out in qualified order will happen. If you're not there, you go to the back. So, so we're really, because of the broadcast, hard, hard times. So uh, be ready. And uh, uh, Spencer, go ahead. Really, really quick, too. Hey, there's food in the back of this white Audi right here. If anybody wants Jimmy John's, we got a bunch of food left over. There's probably like 20. Yeah, and then there's drinks right here. So I would suggest grabbing some water for your car. All right, guys, you heard it here. That concludes our driver's meeting for number two on the Freedom 500. So let's go take a walk, Chris. We're going to take a look at the field. All you guys at home, we're going to kind of do some browsing and just kind of see what some of the colorful paint jobs that we've got going on.
Got a lot of racers out here decorating their units. What's up, dude? Get your bunny ears off my guy. All right, we got Kevin from KSR Performance. What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? You're a last second alternative, right? Yeah, thank goodness we're in the show. Yeah. Uh, was want to do a little better than I did the last one, even though I did pretty well the last one until right at the very end. So now, how did you finish in the last one? I don't even know. I, I led the most laps of the second half, set the fastest lap of the entire race, and then spun out three times with two laps to go. So. And that was at Le Mullets, right? Yes, yes, Le Mullets. The first Freedom 500 for me. So. Okay. All right, perfect. So you have a little bit more experience than some of the drivers out here. You think that's going to come in to play some advantage for you today? I have no idea. There's some, uh, there's an awesome group of drivers in this one, so it's going to be tough, very tough this race. So yeah, well, you're pretty humble, but I do know that you're a very good driver. So I think you're a little bit of a sleeper. So you might not have some big name behind you, no X Games gold medals or anything, but um, we'll see you out there, man. Good luck. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Thank you, Kevin. KSR. Let's see what we got going on back here. Is this still, you getting good audio off this? Yeah, just not, don't, don't go near the mall. Okay. Like look the way they are. 10 4. Taylor Ray, how you doing, bud? I'm good. Dude, what do you got here? What do you got going on with this? Well, I thought gold would be nice, so I painted it gold, and uh, now it's gold. And what are you trying to go for? Like Prince Alexander the Great or something? Sure, whatever you think is best. <laughs> Listen, I'm just going what it looks like, but it's very shiny. It's stands out. That's the goal. It stands out. This is good paint, dude. This Walmart special. Whoo! It laid over thick. I mean, you would think that I got this professionally painted, wouldn't you? Tell me. Yeah, you know, you're going to put makeup out of business. You keep this up. I think so. I think I'm going to start my own shop. Hey, man. Well, you got your own shop coming on your channel. Things are going really good. I saw your, your Fummins, the Cummins Swap Ford F350. That thing's looking good, man. It's been doing good. I'm happy with it. Good, man. We're happy to have you back here. I know you've raced here before. You've done really well. That's why you keep securing a spot in these oh, next so races, good. man. It feels so good to, to have a spot to be able to race in this. This is the most fun thing you could ever do. Well, to be honest, I mean, I think you just keep the fans happy, dude. Like, it's awesome to see you actually going out there. You're giving your all. You're not screwing around. You're not crashing people. You're trying to put some heater laps down. You're trying to catch a victory. So you finished in the pole position or in the uh, top three before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I got third the first race. I led a bit of it, most of it, and then the second race we led, me and Kevin, and then he got spun at the end. So we've had a we have had a record, I and him, of uh, getting spun short or or getting losing first right before the end. Yeah. So I got to try not to do that this time if I even get to first. But we got a stacked field of drivers. Yeah. Yeah. Right when it matters most, you guys fell short. So sorry to make it sound so brutal, but I think you guys got a better shot today. What number are you, man? Number oh seven. Number oh seven. Number Seven, but they put a zero for some reason. I don't know why they put the zero, but it's just seven. It's just seven. <laughs> I don't know, dude. That mind behind the camera is the one that printed the decals. Why? Just a seven. All right. Look who I got behind me right here. Ryan Turk, you're not getting out of here too fast, buddy. Right. We have to interview the only guy that's not in an actual right. Crown Vic. So give us the story. Explain to the fans why you're in a Toyota right now. Yeah, so... Uh, Toyota supports my drifting efforts professionally and a, and a big portion of my career. So uh, I had to ask for permission to drive a Vic, and uh, they didn't want they didn't want to see me in a Vic. I understand. I hope everybody else understands. Like this is a fun race, but there are a lot of eyeballs on it. So it is a, it's there's a lot yeah. going on. No, it's very understandable. But we appreciate you doing everything that you've made commitments before. But the fact that you still were able to get it done, you're willing to <laughs> to go ro Rochambeau into Camry. Uh, all right, so what is kind of transmission? Do you even have a gears or anything? You're gonna. I got a, I got a D3 two in there, so <laughs> okay. I'm probably just gonna leave it in two. Yeah. And uh, see what happens. So what motor is under this though? Is it a three and a half liter, uh, 24 valve VTEC engine? Right. And uh, we do have the nitrous on this too. Uh, now it's a dry shot with no fuel management and no extra fuel going in. <laughs> so I don't know how that 40, that 45 shot or whatever is going to uh, distribute between the cylinders, yeah. but uh, I, I'm, I'm nervous about it. Well, man, I definitely is safe to say that I think you might have a little bit of a target on your back being the old, only non crown it's Vic. And it's, and it's red, but it looks good, dude. This paint job came out great. The stickers look good. What number are you? I'm 411. I think, the, I think it did came out good. I just want to uh, say a massive thank you to uh, Cletus for, you know, Garrett for bringing me out here and actually making this happen because uh, obviously he didn't have to. And, uh, Pleasure to be here and race with everybody. It should be a good time. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for coming out. We appreciate having you. I like the Ronald McDonald color scheme you got going on. Um, but, dude, I hope I don't see you in the pits interviewing you far too soon before the race is over. All right. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Ryan, we'll see you out there. All right, we got to get over here, guys. 
One of the drivers we've all been waiting for. I'm feeling great, man. <laughs> in the building tp199 out here at the track let's go talk some smack to him let's see what he's got going on what's up hey, what's going on man bro it's on the steering wheel it's right there right there <laughs> he's at the radio controls at the ac knob guys this gentleman doesn't need much introduction but we got travis pastrana here joining us for his very first appearance at the freedom 500 at the freedom factory how you doing man i, I have to say this is the most prestigious event i've pretty much ever competed in. I mean, you look around, it's very hard to get all these drivers in the same split, same place. And it's probably the lowest horsepower vehicles we've ever all been driving together, uh, but we have um, nitrous, so that's good. I don't know what the button does, but we're gonna find out in qualifying. I'm gonna use, use all my nitrous up just to make sure I start first and then block like hell. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's a good strategy. So you got the go sauce plugged in there, kind of like you were saying last night, man. It's like you had a ton of people hitting you up about this event before you even announced it. And you were telling us yesterday, you're like, I've never seen so many people so jazzed up telling you, you got to go be a part of it. So what do you think about this, how it compares to some of the other events you've competed in? No, this is awesome. I actually uh, spent my winters down here riding dirt bikes. Uh, a lot of the guys, Ryan Sipes is coming by. Like all the guys that race moto are all from around here. We were just up up north of Tampa and Dade City. So I um, have a lot of kind of friends from in the motorcycle family around here. A lot of America, a lot of American flags. Love the free, <laughs> I mean, the Freedom Factory, like even the, uh, like there's limos that are painted American and there are ambulances that are yeah. painted American. Yeah. Uh, and then I uh, got to run the, the quarter mile uh, last last night. Turns out I'm bad at turning left and going straight. So <laughs> thank goodness there's a... Uh... You guys got to head to the Cleanest Supercar YouTube channel and watch this guy. This is the sketchiest quarter mile pass I've ever seen in my life. That was the scariest thing. How was it inside the car? Yeah, Ruby, I, I really thought I was better. I just, I pinned it and then all of a sudden I was taking out cones and going left, so... Yeah, not, not my thing, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. Well, awesome. I hope you saved some left-hand turns for you today, though, because you got about 100 laps out there. So I know you made jokes about having a backup car, but this thing looks so good, man. You're decked out. You got your Subaru decals, Pip Viper, the 199. That's been standing out for decades in my memory. So I'm happy to see you do well, man. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate it a bunch. Dude, thanks for having me. This is going to be awesome. So. Yeah. All right, man. Have a good one. Dude, the crowd's been out yeah. here like five hours ago, and the, the stands are already packed. Yeah, no, we had a line outside this place. When drivers were still showing up, we already had people parking on the interstate, off the side of the, in the emergency lane. So it's going to be a great time. People are pumped to see you here, man, and we really appreciate you coming out. Cool. Well, thank you. All right, have a good one, man. Good stuff, TP. All right. Where else are we going? Let's see. Yeah. So this mic, I don't know what's different about this mic this year. But well, I need more distance. You like, really? Here, Max. Here, okay. Because as soon as it gets there, all Okay. Out. All right, cool. Yeah, last year we had to have it right on people's tonsils. All right. What are you up to? Yeah, in the breast oh, cancer, oh, in the oh. in the side by side blog.com breast cancer awareness vehicle, we got. Nick Seuss, how dude, you doing today, bud? Dude, feeling really good today, dude. Feeling good, dude. Going for the win today, straight up, dude. Let me show you something. Hey, Spence, let me yeah, show you something. Yeah, take quick. me for a lap around here. Right here? Whoa. Dude, listen. <laughs> Easy oh, money, dude. Cha-ching. Listen. Cha-ching. Easy money. <laughs> All right, so I don't even know if there's a, a victory purse or anything, but you're going for there's the... There's not, dude. <laughs> I've confirmed it. I thought there was, but there's not, dude. Yeah, you got an email saying there was a million-dollar grand prize, and then you found out in the driver's classic, meeting not the case. Classic spam, dude. Classic spam. <laughs> Those spam emails that get you every time. Give me a walk around the car, man. It's yeah, a full dude, so, pink yeah. kitten caboodle. Yeah, kitten caboodle, number 11, because I'm number one. I'm also number one. Easy money, because easy money. Dude, you know, uh, she's just pink. Yeah. Got a little air scoop in there, no problem. Just a little air. And, wow. Uh, that's pretty much it. Dude. I see you knocked out your grill. This is see how it came. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> I'm not really sure what happened there. Okay, so you got some airflow coming through in and out the hood. We this is good. It, we talked a little bit. Yeah. She's good, dude. She's you going to take her to dinner after you win? Oh, yeah, dude. Nice seafood dinner. Nice seafood. <laughs> I hope that doesn't mean you're driving in the ocean. Stop it. <laughs> dude, this is a very pink car, man. Oh, She's pink. oh, this is the first car we've seen. You guys actually fully gutted the interior. No, this is how it was when we got, no way. We got dead serious. Your car really came gutted, huh? Here, but, like, there was a lot of weird stuff going on in here, so I don't know. Well, frick. Okay, we're going to roll with it. See what happens. Yeah, dude. Hey, can I get in on this? Yeah, just give it a little. Get a little fresh rip. Oh. Clean. Hey, 
That's I got you. Dude, that's a hot pink section right there. Hey man. I did my deal. Done my part. And then you got old glory. I think that flag keeps getting bigger and bigger each year. <laughs> you guys started out with like a modest flag. Now it's like almost at the ground. Uh, yeah, you're not lying, dude. It definitely gets bigger and bigger. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look hey. Show. People show, dude. Hey. People show. <laughs> Easy there. Yeah, oh, my out, gosh. For us in the victory lane, dude. We're going to be freaking just. Uh, uh, uh. Well, good. I hope so, man. Last time you here, you got in a boxing match halfway yeah, through. So yeah, hopefully none of that. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick Seuss. We'll see you, man. Dude, I don't see many drivers out here. Let's, uh, oh, you know what? Let's uh, make it over here to, uh, oh, we, wow, you need that much more time? We need a lot of time covered. Ten more minutes. All right. We got the jack-o'-lantern vehicle here. All right, let's talk to, let's go over here and talk to Mr. Whistling Diesel. Last time, young, young, oh no, oh no, all right, did we, did we solve this helmet problem that you had last year? Oh, oh we solved that. <laughs> that, that was taken care of real quick, we, we just you fixed it, his helmet stolen. <laughs> yeah, I got my helmet stolen, and I was like, everyone's like, oh, you misplaced it, like always, oh, you just misplaced it, I, I, no, I didn't misplace that helmet, like, yeah. so uh, I said, I'm going to find you. I can't say the rest. You know, you did a great job. That's perfect. That's perfect. I found him. What's most important is you have a new helmet that we're getting dialed in right now. I have the flag on it, so I still have an issue with this person. <laughs> Anyways, any, I couldn't find one with a flag on it again. But um, So also, you got to point this out real quick. Yeah, let's take a look at your vehicle that you got going on, man. You still went with the jack-o'-lantern thing. Now, what does that say? <laughs> uh, if Whistling Diesel doesn't place last in the free 500, I'm going to cry to mama. So I, I just had to use their own quote against them. Oh, okay. So you're quoting some of the haters, huh? Oh, yeah. They said they were going to cry to mommy and all that. It was kind of weird. but. <laughs> oh. so well, I good, man. I made that. But, uh, yeah, it's a General Lee, by the way. So I know. I keep getting it confused with the old jack-o'-lantern. Oh, yeah, but you yeah. do have the flag on the hood. Let's make it really clear. Yeah, let's make it really clear. You got the... The flag up top, you're, you're sporting the number one, same one you did last yeah. time, the General Lee. No, man, this thing looks good. I'm happy to have you back. You actually had a really quick lap time last time. I think it was the fourth fastest lap time of last race, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yep, somehow. But if, if I wouldn't have spun out, at first I was just kind of having fun, and then I realized I could have won if I wasn't messing around. So yeah. we're going to try to win. This well, that's good, man. I think you have a ton of actual like professional racers here yeah. so like i granted you are a professional at what you do but nobody's actually handed out checker flags at the end of every you know so i've never uh won any sort of race really so but i've never been in any race either so except yeah, the last one but <laughs> so you've only lost races i've only lost races <laughs> yeah well let's see if we can change that today let's hope you don't go in last that way you don't have people crying home to mommy right. yeah, if, it's gonna be really awkward if I lose this, actually, because you gotta you gotta be brave. You know, there's a risk with putting a, a cocky quote on there. So. <laughs> yeah, but we know you're not afraid of that, man. So thanks for coming out again, Cody. We appreciate you. All right, guys, we're gonna transition over now. This car was Haley Deegan's. It's our only female racer. It started off this color, but she came in and said, "You know what? That's not gonna do it for me." So she went with the full matte black paint theme. So they made some adjustments on it. I don't see any, uh, it looks like they gutted out the rear seat in there. Go a little with a little bit of a weight reduction. Oh, well look at this. I think we saw something like this in that old Ricky Bobby movie there where she is sponsoring her own vehicle and that looks like a, some sort of bear or a panther or a wild chihuahua, <laughs> a wild cat. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, Talladega Nights, that's right. Yeah, you had the wild cat in there. So. Hopefully that she doesn't put a live animal in her car while she's racing. That would not be safe. Okay. All right, Chris, let's go this way. Dude, all my drivers are pretty dialed in on their vehicles. Um, old Chelsea. Let's go to stop to Chelsea. If you guys saw in the driver's meeting, we had an issue with this guy last year doing his alignment, doing all sorts of modifications, trying to make his car faster. But uh, he got caught cheating last year, so I think he was quarantined into the pits over here. Let's get a word in with Chelsea. Dude. I mean, She's right here. Yeah, no, we want the Chelsea, the driver, not Chelsea. She drives. Not Chelsea, the rule maker. Chelsea, uh, the rule follower. Uh, but 
All right, guys, Chelsea Denofa here. We've seen him at the Burnout Rivals. He actually won two trophies at his last event I think here. He might be the most winningest person here still. That, that might be. I know Brent Levestad is high up there. up there. It's yeah. close. <laughs> but um, tell me what you got ready for us today. I know you haven't touched your car, but I did see you doing some gentle maintenance. It was a regular maintenance. Uh, uh, oil change, things like that. Yeah, 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 I didn't like do any modifications to it outside of some maintenance stuff. We want to make sure we make it to the race, so we put some Penn's oil in it and some NGK plugs. And actually, what came out of there looked good, good and fine anyway. So really? we'll see how it goes. And I think everybody had their air filters taken out anyway. So I put a K&N filter in it. So okay. you know, I'm trying to keep the motor together for this race. Mine was hurting after the last really? race. <laughs> yeah. Was... So what happened? What place did you finish in the last race? I think it ended up being fifth, which we were just pumped to finish on the lead lap because we got four flats, I think it was. Wow. So we were back like seven laps, eight laps at one point, and we really? made it back and got into the lead lap. So, I mean, it was like a win in my book. You oh, know, our lap times were winning, so I was good with it. Yeah, finishing on the lead lap is usually one of the most rewarding yeah. feelings. I Seeing can't that believe there's that many people that finish on the lead lap. Like, yeah. it's a massive chaos out there. It's so fun. Yeah. Well, we're happy to have you back, man. You're honestly a really good racer. You're a great driver. You've been in the Formula Drift Series for how many years now? Nine years, yeah. Yeah, so you definitely are no shy competitor to the cameras, the fans, putting on a good show. But yeah, you actually here. have um, one of your probably Formula Drift competitors. you got Ryan Turk here I today. Do. do you have a special spot picked out for him or anything? You trying to pit him out or get you him out what? of competition? I think it will just be... A win for him to finish the race in that car. <laughs> yeah. Because it's got some spaghetti noodle suspension components, and we're out here driving F-150s with car bodies on them. So <laughs> I, think, I think we're going to end up doing just fine as long as he can finish. I think that it'll be fun pit maneuvering him because he won't spin because of the front wheel drive. Yeah, that's so true. We'll but you also have such a larger weight compared to the... So I you think might it's going to be fast. I'm not saying it's not going to be fast. I no, think it might I, be faster than our cars. You're very you very well could be correct. I think when it comes to the pit maneuvers, this car might just bounce off all the others and yeah. it'll be ping-ponging through I think the it's field. It's quick, but I'm worried it's not going to make the whole race. We'll see. Yeah. Well, it'll be a true test to what Toyota brings to the table I now mean, that There's no way anyone's going to let him win though either. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Yeah. No one's going to let a Camry win the Freedom yeah. 500. Well, if it starts getting really sketchy, we're in the last like 20 laps or so, I'll go hijack the race director's mic and I'll let everybody Everybody know full target $500 bounty on the Corolla <laughs> I'm in sign me up all right man well thanks for coming yeah we'll have you ow dude your wedding ring that hurt <laughs> ow <laughs> I'm delicate yo Wilkie what's up buddy dude my boy back back again we got Blake Wilkie here guys with the shreddy life he was actually one of our he was the fastest lap holder, I believe. Oh, no, Garrett had the fastest lap in the first Freedom 500, but you had the second fastest lap out there. So it's awesome to see you back here, man. You're very, very quick. Um, what are you thinking about being up against some actual professional <laughs> drivers? It's the, the field is so stacked, you know. I mean, racing against Travis, we had a little bit of fun last night, and uh, Heavy D and Chelsea, you know. Um, dude, there's just, it's crazy, man. I mean, Never thought I'd be racing against NASCAR drivers and Formula Drift drivers, monster truck drivers, you know, um, Haley Deegan. She's she's the only lady racing, and she's a she's a threat to be you know reckoned with. So, man, it's it's <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be really exciting to see because we have such a diverse skill set. We have people that are just putting out solid content every month. We have people that are actually winning trophies, taking home golds for huge, like, publicly owned race teams. So we have, like, this huge swath of creativity, skill set, but definitely no stranger with Blake Wilkie here in the building. Going to put down some heater laps. What are you thinking? Where are you thinking you're going to finish? Are you going to try to give it all for qualifying, start at the front of the field, give yourself a best shot? Because my theory is that with all these skill sets, the, the, the skill-packed field, it's going to be a lot harder to make some solid passes. That's that's true. I'm gonna I'm shooting for a top five. You know, roughly fourth, third place would be ideal. Um, my first half of the race, I'm gonna be cruising though. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of cautions. We'll kind of let people figure out their cars, try to stay out of any carnage. Last 20 laps is where this race will be won. You hear that, folks? The last 20 laps is exactly where this race will be won. Blake Wilkie going with the the method of vehicle preservation, save his tires, definitely save his transmission, and it sounds like he might be saving that nitrous bottle for the very end. So, Blake, good luck out there, man. I'm rooting for you. All right, we'll see you. All right, let's go get ourselves. Ooh, I know exactly the man. Brent, can I borrow you for a second? Hey, bud. Hey, how's it going? I'm, I'm downwind of this paint job, so yeah. I'm getting a little dizzy. But, hey. guys, 
I think you guys all at home know exactly who this is. We got Brent <laughs> Levstad from PFI Speed. Just made a beautiful appearance in Houston in the Mystery Machine, which that we can talk about that some other time. But yeah. tell us about your strategy today, man. You are you are a, 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 a seasoned veteran at the Freedom Factory. What do you have it. planned for us today? I'm going to take it easy for a bit. And okay. then when it's time, my... Uh, Dude's gonna tell me to go, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna turn it up. Now you said my dude. Yeah. Do you mean like your race director, your it's, team captain? What are you? Yeah. Who's your dude? Jamie. Yeah. All right, man. So you're helping him out. You guys got a comp set up. We got a comp set up. So Always. he tells me where I need to be and what's going on, and so I can rip. Yeah. So that you guys did that last time. Do you guys find that to have been a great advantage having a uh, somebody Absolutely. to? Really? Absolutely. Someone talking you through it. There's yeah. a lot of stuff you don't see on the track. You don't always know what cars are lapped cars, so half the time you're racing a car that's lapped down. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, you guys got to remember, for those of you at home that don't actually watch consistently NASCAR series or any professional racing, these guys always have their team captains are giving them direction when they're out on the field, letting them know who to pass, when to let go, when to let somebody buy it because they're a lap driver. So this has, been a, this has been a winning method for you guys. How many yeah. wins do you have here on the Cletus McFarlane channel, whether it's at the Freedom Factory or any of the Cletus and Cars events? I think around seven. Seven victories. Okay. Oh, yeah. How about here on the Oval? How many have you ever won any events at the Oval? I, I won the La Mullet, so. Well, and the oh, and Burnout Rivals burnout here. Rivals here so. Okay, guys. That's so we actually have too. the last pay-per-view race that we had at the Freedom Factory was Brent at the winning position uh, for the 2.4 hours of lay mullets, and he won in reverse. It was honestly one of the most glorious finishes we could ever could have wished for, planned for, but it was amazing. So I'm very excited to see you pull it together, man. This is going to be a fast car. What number are you? 144. 144. And the reason I'm 144 yeah. is my buddies didn't get to race with me this time. So I added up all their numbers and I came up with 144. And Damn. So I got my homies with Dude, them. one of the best things ever since I met you, you got a huge heart, bro. I, I, I'm happy to be in your friend group, but I think I saw a sticker on here that says, I love librarians yeah. or libraries. <laughs> oh. I love libraries, yeah. Well, dude, librarians are my. <laughs> What's wrong with librarians? Nothing at all, honestly. Well, why libraries? Well, they're doing a documentary on libraries and. Uh, Sport, is yeah. there a documentary coming out on librarians? I hope so. All right. Well, I hope I so, too. Later, yeah, dude, I'll see you at Harkins Theater. You and I will be front row seat. <laughs> I'll, I'll sit behind you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brad, you have a good one. Hey, be dog. safe, brother. Oh, my goodness. Who we got? Jared. What's what up, up, buddy? What's up, dog? Mr. DeAnda, guys. Up? One of my co-hosts, my co-conspirators, my... Sorry. Partners in crime. We got Jared DeAnda, the voice of Formula Drift, and many other outlets. But how are you doing today, man? Thank you for coming out all the way from LA to help us put on this amazing show. Dude, super pumped to be here. Freedom Factory, having people in the stands, everybody tuning in, watching. I get to co announce with you and Larry Mack. Larry McReynolds, the legend, dude. He's here. And look at just the diverse amount of people. Some people you see them on the internet and seeing people interact, and it's so rad. Like the diversity is just to be celebrated. Yeah, I mean, it really puts a whole testament just hearing everybody say the positive things. We got to have a big shout out and a thank you to Cletus Dude. just for putting this talent together before us. For us, just the viewing pleasure, uh, just for the fans at home, the fans here in the stands. Yep. And I know you were here, you actually co uh, hosted with me Burnout Rivals. the Burnout Rivals, yep. and it was just crazy. We were super excited, but there was nobody in the stands. <laughs> and so we're going nuts, yeah. and it's just like crickets. It's like it's, it's like if you were a stand up comedian and you had a bad night. Yeah. But boo, <laughs> boo. Now, dude, Cletus, and, and, and I think I saw, I saw him shed a tear in the driver's meeting. I think this is a dream coming true for him. I mean, he, I, I saw him and Travis do an interview, and he says, I always wanted my number to be 199, but if Travis ever shows up, I'd have to change my number. So respectfully, he didn't choose 199, and here it is. Travis yeah. Pastrana, I mean, the modern-day Evil Knievel is amongst us, and just all the personalities, yourself included, the party. I mean, tickets sold out like that. So if you're watching, remember, this is just, you get a front-row seat, man. It's, yeah. it's sick. 100 laps, 19 VIX, Crown VIX. One, one Toyota Camry. One Toyota Camry. <laughs> I love it. It's just like, yeah. don't, don't leave the... How do you think Turk's going to do? Do you think the Me? camera's going to survive? I mean, honestly, it's hard to say. I think that car's lighter. He might get pushed around like a bumper car. It might be more nimble. He might be able to dodge some of the right. lap traffic, some of the debris in the road. It's hard to say. I he's mean, a pinata among anvils. You know what I mean? Like, these <laughs> things are machines, right? And he's just going to get punted off. There's no candy. It's just a cute little sweet Ryan Turk inside. So, yeah, I think it's a yeah. pinata, man. We're, yeah. we're going to see. It's going to be interesting, man. I'm it's, super pumped. It's going to be an awesome time, man. Well, I'm super excited to have you in the announcer's booth with yeah. America's crew chief, like you said, Larry Mac Reynolds. Um, but it's going to be a great time. So, guys, Thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned. Get your Mountain Dew. Go to the fridge. Put some ice cubes in that pint glass. Pour one deep. 
and we're going to have a really great time here today at the Freedom Factory for the very second Freedom 500. The Freedom Factory is open for business. Make some noise, Freedom Factory attendees all around the world tuning in. We are making history for the second time ever, and man, this is going to be an event. I'm Jared Diana, and I have the pleasure of an, look, you even have it on your shirt. You have your own <laughs> shirt, America's Crew Chief, Larry Mack. Awesome to be here, and to great. And it's an honor, a privilege to work with you, man. It's a pleasure to work with you. You and I, we've done so much together, but to have the weather that we have, to have these 20 drivers, and to have the crowd we've got here at Freedom Factory. Yeah. Look at that. We are ready to send it, lick the stamp and send it, and we kick things off. So you're just tuning in, which you all are. Tell your friends, come on, wake up your family. Let's party. We're going to send it. So we kick things off with qualifying. We have five groups, four vehicles. You'll get that warm-up lap, and then green means go. they got two laps to be the fastest qualifier, and here we go, baby. And you wouldn't think, okay, 100 laps, 20 drivers, what does qualify mean? You want to start up front, start out in front of the eye of the storm. Oh, so speaking about front, we got Blake Wilkie. He's in that black, uh, the number 357. You got Adam LZ in the 05, Tanner Faust in the bright yellow, number 34, and then Sean Murder Nova. Of course, 187 is the message that they gave me. So here we go. So again, we're going to go hot and heavy, two laps. Who's going to be the fastest? Blake Wilkie throws down his lap, so this is he's got one lap in the books. we got to get our scoring and timing up here and see what we're going to see from these racers. What can you expect, Larry? What are you expecting throughout today's event? Well, what I'm already seeing is some of these drivers overdriving the corner. These are 4,500-pound Crown Vicks. They are not <laughs> race cars. They are Most of them are retired police cars, but I was watching... Adam LZ in the 05 car, a little different approach. He kind of arcs it in there, but yeah. it, right now you've got the one car, the 187, Sean Murder Nova is all in the way. Of course, that's the end of round one right there anyhow. Yeah, that, that is a wrap. And I saw Tanner Faust, you know, he is a, a world champion drifter, rally cross racer. He got sideways over there. All right, so we got number 34 with a 19.805 with a 20.1153. So the car number 34, Tanner Faust with the fastest time of that group. And that man has raced everything <laughs> known to man, right. but he told me today this is the first time on an asphalt oval. So not too bad of a start there. No, not too bad. And it bears repeating, if you're just tuning in, 20 vehicles, 19 of which are Crown Vicks, and one is Toyota Camry. <laughs> Ryan Turk, look, he contractually pilots Toyotas in the Formula Drift Series. He's building that brand new Formula Supra. It's a beautiful vehicle with his Judd V10. Woo! But he says, look, I'll come, but Cleeter, you got to buy me a Camry. Well, here's the caveat. It's only one Camry. Now, there are six spares cars, right. but they are all Crown Vicks. So if something ha happens to Ryan Turk, he has no other Camry. He's done for the night. One so. and done. <laughs> That's, and and uh, in the driver's meeting, Travis Mastrana said, can I just prep the, prep the backup car now? Because I, I know. <laughs> Making I know plans. Making uh, plans. Yeah, he, he knows himself all too well, right? Speaking of TP, Travis Pastrana in the number 199. We got James. James, get the toolbox. Jack, Stan, Jimmy. All right, Randy Popes. Man, the legend. The car 3113. And then Kevin of KSR in the number 78. Oh, excuse me. No, here. Well, wow, we're moving on. Sorry, that wrong group. I, uh, we got this group. Alex Bowman, which you're very familiar with. Number 88, Chelsea Denofa. Denofa, excuse me. You got the Vice Grip Garage. I like their livery, the camo. And then you got Sue, the SXS blog. So the side-by-side -side blog, guys. So let's go down to Spence. I think he's got something down in the infield for us. Guys, I'm here in the pits. We just got done with the first group from qualifying. We got Blake Wilkie out here. Now, Blake, you've done many laps here before, but how do you think you did here today? Um, definitely, you know, just getting thrown right into the mix. I think uh, I could have set a faster time, but uh, this car handles so much different. The gearing is different from my last one, so even though I've been here before, there's still other challenges that always seem to pop up, so. Got it, so we're hearing that, guys, it's not necessarily just a track and get a feel for it, that every vehicle has its variables. Remember, some of these police cruisers have 70,000 miles on it, all the way up to 160,000 miles. So we got Sean from Murder Nova. Sean, how did you do out there? It's your first time at the Oval. How do you think you did qualifying? I don't have, I, 
I honestly have no idea. I know he was right on my ass, so obviously I didn't go as fast as this guy did. But Got it. I, I don't know. It was the first time. I'm kind of trying to get a feel for everything, and okay. uh, it was definitely loose out there. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure it was. Remember, this is not a race car like you're used to. These are loose and ready to set, get loose. So um, we'll let's go. Yeah, absolutely. We got Adam LZ, a returning competitor here at the Freedom Factory. How would you do out there, man? Felt pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. We'll see when the numbers show up. Yeah, that's true. The proof is in the pudding, and that, what I mean by that is in the numbers. So we're going to head back to Jared DeAnda and Larry Mack here in the booth. But thank you, Adam. We're excited to see how you finished. Thank you. LZ definitely gets style points, likes the paint job. Let's look at some of these times here. Look at that. Bowman and Tanner. How, how, how close is that? 19.7 and 19.8. Bowman got loose out there, too. Yeah, and, and we do think Alex Bowman is probably going to be the favorite in that 48 car. He ran the uh, 2.4 hour of La Mullets. In fact, he won the first stage when he was in the car. Cletus McFarlane, not so good in stage <laughs> number two. But right. that, I tell you, I am very impressed with Tanner Faust because, yeah. again, raced everything under the sun and moon, but never on an oval, especially in a 4,500 pound crown vic the crown vic the interceptor and, and I, you were talking about these are retired cop cars you can still see orlando police on the back Tampa yeah. police you yeah. can still see it kind of ghosted in there and all the drivers had the opportunity to put their you know custom touches on there but they weren't allowed to do anything other than just check the tire pressure but supposedly they're all at 30 psi they're all on nitto tires again 19 crown vics don't change anything and i tell you what chelsea denofa he was underneath his vehicle. He was he underneath it. We got here Man. early this morning. That's right. But Spence brings up something interesting, and that's the different mileage on the mm. cars. I mean, that can make a huge difference. And the other thing I learned today, they're automatic transmissions, and you want to keep it in second gear. You don't want to run drive or mm. what we'd call third gear. You want to race, go to first for a restart, go to second, mm. and stay in second gear. The transmissions probably won't last shifting down, shifting on its own if you put it in drive. Yeah, and, and that, that's something that, that Cletus just – Kind of put it out there for the drivers. Hey, this is this is my approach. I recommend you do that. Turk, you got to defend you, for yourself. I don't know anything about a Camry. Mr. Alex, so Alex, here we go with this. Is qualified. Alex, how's the number one ninety nine Travis Pastrana. James, get the toolbox. He's got the bush light on the hood. He's looking for that endorsement. And of course, we'll see if he's got some cold bushes after the event. Then Randy Popes, a legend, an icon in the road racing world. He's got to, you can see the sticker there, the flying moose. The moose is loose. And rounding out this four pack here is Kevin of KSR and the 78. Here we go. Send it. Yeah, the 03 James Tall, he's known as Cletus McFarlane's human tool, toolbox. Get I the think toolbox. whatever Cletus needs done on these cars. He's there. James is there to do it. Who's pulling for James out there? Make some noise, Freedom Factory. I mean, come on. You got the icon, 199. Both thumbs up. Make some noise for these racers. Let's get loud. It's great to see some smiling faces. Clutch kicking and taking some names. Here we go. All right. Green means go. James out front. I'm really anxious to see how Travis Pastrana. Oh, look at that. We're in car. In that, in that 199, how he actually does. I mean, he, he has a lot of over experience. Ran Xfinity Series in NASCAR. Actually ran a truck race at Las Vegas last year. Yeah, he's obviously very talented on two wheels, four wheels, and sometimes even on the roof. Um, we're not going to see a backflip from him in this Crown Vic, but look at, you can see him really find that wheel. And as smiles and thumbs up as Travis is, he wants to win. He is, he is more competitive than, than most people in the, in, in, on the planet, man. Look at this. So in car with Travis, and there we go. We can see him out of the car. What do you think? What kind of times are we going to look for here? Again, the fastest so far is Alex Bowman with that 19.7. Pastrana looks awfully good. He loses the nose a little bit. Uh, car doesn't turn late exit of the corner, and I'm sure that hurts his straightaway speed as well. All right, so it looks like they get a full pull here. Travis still got a smile on his face, and there you go. Kevin with K of KSR. Let's see what kind of times we're going to see here. One thing about Travis Pastrana, this man has fun when he does his laundry. He has fun. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The man has fun whatever he does. Right, right. He's, he's definitely a, a fun-loving dude. I'm looking at uh, what, what vehicle number is that. I believe that is 78. So Kevin of KSR with a 19.7. So look at that. Uh, maybe even surprising himself, but as fast as Bowman. But the, the fastest from each group, Jared, they, they're very, very close, very tight. Mm -hmm. We still have two more groups. Again, four drivers per group, two more groups to qualify. And here comes <laughs> old 411, that Toyota Camry, Ryan Turk. What, what is the 411 <laughs> with the Toyota Camry? I love it. Ryan is, is super excited. You know, came in last night, went to Cletus's house, and just everybody's having a hoot, man.
He just hopes it's not 911. It stays 411. Fact. Yeah. Fact. For and sure. right now, it's it's a sunroof. A little later on in the evening, it'll be a moonroof. So you get <laughs> see what I did there? I definitely <laughs> did. All right. So you got the 144 of Brent PFI Speed. A lot of money on him. I mean, he has a lot of success here at Freedom Factory. And again, the 401 Ryan Turk in the lone Toyota, Toyota Camry. Heavy D in the 801. See him right there. And then the 07. Ooh, that thing is bright. And that is Taylor Ray. All right, so fans here, if we could have fans, please move together in the stands where there is open areas. So uh, we would appreciate that. So, again, if you have open areas, please move to those as we get set for our next qualifying group. Who's your money on? Yeah, that 144, uh, Brent PFI Speed, mm -hmm. Brent Livingstad. You know, he, he was winner of the 2.4 hour of La Mullets back right. in November, led some laps in this Freedom 500 a year ago, so I, I definitely think he's one to watch. I think he's going to be money tonight. He's giddy. I mean, he, he was just – he's just happy to be here. And he's like, I, I'm just – I'm kicking – I'm pinching myself. He, he just absolutely loves it. He even spray painted on the truck and says, this is awesome. That's this, <laughs> that just gives you any idea or indication of how excited Brent is. So here we go. And that's an interesting approach because, like, uh, like Murder Nova said, Adam LZ was right on him. So he threw up a roadblock. Maybe give yourself some space there, Brent, so you're not up on the back – of the 801 of Heavy D. And that's what he's doing now. Yeah, yeah to, if nothing else, Jared, to me, it would be a distraction if, right. you're, if you're trying to follow another car. So he definitely opened the space up there before he's going to start his lap. All right, Heavy D coming in hot in that 801. And there we go. So, Brent, let's see what kind of pace we got here. And and you know what? Does, does Ryan take a different strategy here? Because nobody knows. That car has not gone around the track at all. We've seen Crown Vicks here at Freedom Factory. But a little little breaking there. What, what do you think strategy-wise? Yeah, it, it, these cars, now I know the Crown Vicks, they tend to be loose getting in the corner. The back end wants to come around. And, and I saw that 411, Ryan Turk, very loose getting into turn three, very tight. Car did not want a turn coming off turn four. Well, you got to think, front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive. There's a, there's a variance there. There so, is, you know, no I mean, question. The, the, the Camry's front-wheel drive. He's coming in hot. He's throwing up some dust there as we get the checkered flag for this qualifying session. See what kind of times we get. And there is Ryan Turk. <laughs> Almost felt like Ryan's trying to run too low, mm. getting down in toward the middle of the corner, and it upsets his exit speed. Okay. Yeah, Ryan Turk, known for drifting, competes in the Formula Drift Championship, and the 144. So, as, uh, as you predicted, but look at that 20.1. So, the slowest. Of of the of the, the fastest guess, of the slowest. There you go. That's, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for finishing my sentence there. Thank you for finishing my sentence. Yeah, that's a good three or four tenths off of some of the faster cars in those first three groups. All right. So here we go. As oh, excuse me. Actually, no, that was incorrect. It's four one one. Ryan Turk is the fastest. Got some. Uh, got some. Got my numbers mixed up. So four one one. Ryan Turk. But he's still the fastest of the slowest. The fastest of the slowest. <laughs> yes. yes. Still yes. the fastest of the slowest. <laughs> Oh, man, I hope you guys are having fun out there. I know we are. Larry Mack, I'm Jared Dienda. we got Spicy Spence down on the ground. He's wrapping up with our drivers and our, our pilots of these 20 weapons of mass destruction, killing some Nitto tires. This is the Summit Racing Equipment Freedom 500 here at the now infamous Freedom Factory. Like I said, it's a pleasure to be here with you and just wrapping out. And like we said, you know, didn't, didn't sell to max capacity, wanted some room for flexibility, yeah. practicing kind of social distance. But the line, dude. They were here at, what, 10, 10 o'clock this morning? I know I got here a little after 12 noon, mm -hmm. and they were lined up on the highway about a half a mile down the road waiting yeah. to get in here. And you uh, maybe accuse us of a lot of things before the night's over, but not having fun will not be one of them. I can promise you that. Uh, we're going to party, man. We are definitely going to party. Here we go with uh, with our next group. So we are in car with Cleeter. There he is, the number 99. There he is. Hell yeah, brother. There we go. You can see the stars and stripes on his big old skid lid. You got Whistling Diesel in the 01, Diesel Dave in the number 435, and rounding out the only female here in competition, number 62, Haley Deegan. They're kind of bunched up right yeah. now. You see Whistling Diesel in that 01. His claim is he just loves to break things. <laughs> <laughs> he came to the right place. He is a diverse personality online. He drove his uh, turbocharged R8 uh, Audi over there. I mean, it just a... You know, he's about 100 pounds soaking wet, so we'll see if that comes to his advantage. But we know how ta how much talent is actually out there with Cletus McFarlane out front of the 99. We can see him kind of pedaling, maybe holding Haley Deegan back. 
You can see her awesome livery here. That might be a good strategy. It might not. Is Haley going for the pass? Yes, we're she qualified. is. I mean, we're qualified. But I'm going to tell you what. Whistling di diesel. Oh, boy. What is happening This is right not now? supposed to happen in qualified. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, what has, what has unfolded? Haley Deegan, Whistling Diesel going for it, sending it, coming up on the bank. Oh, we got drifting action. Oh, baby, tank slapper. I just don't Lord. know if I've ever seen this in qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> it's qualifying, guys and girls. Wow, zero <laughs> chill, Whistling. Whistling sliding. And it looks like to me Cletus McFarlane. Wait. Real quick, real quick, I hate to interrupt you, but the, the light was on on the trunk. That means that he Using, engages nitrous. So, again, we'll talk about this throughout the night, especially as we get into nighttime. They have a limited supply of yep. nitrous oxide. It's about 90 seconds yep. worth. And you can use it in qualifying, but when you're using it, that yellow light on the deck lid is on. You, it's hard to see it in the daylight, so that was interesting. He was He was – whistling that thing down in the corner <laughs> all that calamity all things said and done whistling diesel in the 01 has a <laughs> nice. I got to tell them that this is actually qualifying because he just about hit everything but the Florida lottery <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my goodness and Haley Deegan came out unscathed I thought she was going to get into it with Whistling Diesel there, but uh, not the case. So qualifying's over, just like that. Again, two laps, the fastest so far. As you said, Alex Bone with that 19.7. Um, again, Whistling Diesel, the uh, the fastest of that group there. Woo! Yeah. Oh, man. That was a tight qualifying session. And I was going to say, Cletus McFarlane in the 99, I'm not sure if something happened to his car or he just said, the hell with this. <laughs> I, <laughs> I want to save my car for the green flag of this race. Yeah, exit stage left. Make sure I, I come out unscathed. We'll, we'll see. I mean, you know what? Cletus is a creative individual. He might put might be pulling some strategy here. Even though this is his house, he has one. I think, I, think, I think he's sandbagging. But I will say, that's not what I expected to see in that final round of no. qualifying at all because we almost had to go, and we have, again, we have six backup cars, mm -hmm. and you can only use one. That's right. Whistling right. Diesel and Haley Deegan were close to using one before we even started the race. Qualifying already done just like that. I'm going to rattle off uh, our number one qualifier, Alex Bowen, with that 19.71. Then you got KSR Kevin, second. Tanner Faust qualifies third. Uh, you got the Vice Grip Garage gentleman, 19.84. So they qualified fourth there. And then we got uh, Whistling Diesel, Randy Popes, Travis Pastrana qualifies seventh. Ryan Turk in the lone in Camry, the Camry qualifies in the eighth. Camry. Yep. And then uh, you got Haley Deegan qualifying ninth. You got the side by side blogs uh, rounding out top 10. And then who do we have here? Uh, 11 through 20. Yeah, we've got uh, LZ Adam. We got him 11th. James Tall, the human toolbox. toolbox. <laughs> yeah, he's going to start 12th. Chelsea Denofa, 13th. PFI Speed Brent will 14th. Ooh. Blake Wilkie will be 15th. Dave Heavy will be 16th. Taylor Ray will be 17th. Dave Diesel, 18th. Mm -hmm. Cletus McFarlane. There's only one way to go for Cletus in that 99 <laughs> car. He's going to start 19th. And Shotgun will be Sean Murder Nova. Some yeah. of these drivers only got one lap in, That's including right. Cletus McFarlane. So, yeah. interesting way they're scattered through the field here to, before we take the green flag. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really wondering what's going on with Cletus' car. Uh, maybe he's going to already go to his backup. So, wow. Yeah, so... Awesome uh, experience so far. We're going to have our national anthem opening ceremonies here in just a little bit, Larry. But uh, awesome, again, just to see that. If that's if that's just a, a taste of a shape of things to come, a little blooming onion appetizer there, we're going to get a full-on filet mignon later, man. If you're seeing that in two laps of qualifying, absolutely. Yeah. What are we going to see in 100 green flag laps? Cautions do not count. All right, so when we come back here, Freedom Factory Summit Racing Equipment, Freedom 500 continues here at the one, the only Freedom Factory. Test one, two. Yeah, okay, just uh, checking here in the pits. Text Mike, Mike test, Mike testing one, test Mike. Limo, boys, let's rip. All right, all right. So I'm here in the pits with Cletus right after his uh, qualifying lap. But, dude, I couldn't see it, but all I heard was shouting and yelling. What happened? My qualifier was fine, dude. Haley... And Whistlin' are like, I look over, Whistlin's 
high side, completely sideways. <laughs> She's trying to dodge it, dude. He's tank slapping back to the top of the track, back to the bottom. Finally, goes full spin in qualifying. We almost had a two-car pileup, like a. Like, if they would have hit, it would have definitely disabled both cars from racing further. Oh, my Somehow, gosh. Somehow, they dodge each other, and it was amazing. But I don't know how the qualifying ended up. I'm really curious to see yeah. how Camry did. It's going to be interesting because I talked to a lot of drivers, and they all don't know how they did because the new track surface, the new vehicles, We're things are different. Out, dude. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> Let's go! Fire up! All right, so were you one of the ones that almost got in a wreck? I think I was the one in the middle of it. Okay, so you got to get over here, bud. <laughs> We got Innocent Bike Center. I heard the crowd going nuts. We got whistling diesel right here. What the hell happened, dude? My car doesn't run very well with, <laughs> without nitrous, so I just held down the whole time, pretty much. So, so you went all nitrous bottle in the entire qualifying. I thought I could hold it sideways around the whole track, but it went overboard a little bit. But <laughs> That's crazy. So that's why I heard the crowd losing their mind, going nuts. You almost crashed. Is that right? Yeah. Did I do good? We don't know. I don't think you got <laughs> and so Haley, from your point of view, you were just in the middle of it. You almost yeah. got wrecked into. Yeah, I had Cletus in front of me. He's riding pretty good, but I got I got up to his bump rounds. Like you know, what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna go easy to his inside, try to pass him and get a decent lap still. And he went up the track. I was like, okay, cool. I went on him, and then he's on the inside of me, hits me in the left rear, and I was like, oh my god, I shot him towards him when you hit me. I got one question. Do you ever watch any of the stuff he puts out? Yes, yes. Okay, it so makes you sense. know. It makes so sense. when you knew you were in his qualifying group, you're kind of like nail biting already, I like. I think that's in every qualifying group. You're nail biting with yeah, everyone. Very true. <laughs> yeah, it's a wild group out here, but it's fun. Makes that's awesome. Time. Well, good job. I'm glad he's going to make it to the start of the race. Yeah. That's the last thing we need you starting from the pits. Come on, dude. You got to chill a little, bro. You got 100 laps to I need, do. I need more nitro, though. So. You need more? I don't think, I think the, the rules say you only get 10 pounds. Did you use all 10? You can take half my gas away and just replace it with a nitrous bottle. All right, let me get to the officials and see what they can pull. But, all right, let's come over here to Tanner Faust. We got Heavy D. How did you guys do, man? How's it going? It felt good. I was kind of by myself out there. Really? Yeah, I didn't. My race wasn't as eventful as theirs, apparently. Well, yeah, that's good, though, because in qualifying, it's not supposed to crash. What you're supposed to do in qualifying is just crash. No, 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 no. You have 100 laps to go after qualifying. Tanner, how did you do out there, bud? I, I mean, first couple laps in an oval, it felt pretty good, I think. Like, it's amazing how different three and four are compared to one and two. Yeah. Three and four has a new patch and of asphalt, which is really grippy. We were just talking about it. And the other one's really bumpy, one and two. So, you know, it just kind of skates and burns. I didn't touch any nitrous yet, so I'm excited to see what's happening. You know that meme where the math problems are going through that lady's head? Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. him. Yeah. Every time he sees oh, at the track, he's literally calculating what to do, and he's calculating shading seconds off his time. Yeah. Well, dude, I think I see a lab coat underneath his yeah. fire suit. Yeah. And, then like and this, a PhD. Right? Then it's like, then yeah, that's, it just that's turns into, yeah, right that's what's going to happen. happen right. Talking no. about Dodger, you are today. It's going to be big. Yeah. Honestly, you know, like I couldn't have done what Haley did, which was have the presence when he came drifting on the inside just to break and let him go all the way to the wall. Yeah. Like well, I, that's good defensive driving. I mean, a lot of racing is playing the defense. You can't always be on the go because you'll burn your tires, you'll burn your vehicle up. So it sounds like you two played it cool, which might be the long strategy to at least finish on the on the final lap with everybody else. The last thing you want to do is be 10 or 12 laps down at the end of the race. So. That's it for me, guys, here. Spicy Spence in the pits. We had Heavy D, Tanner Faust. We got a lot of drivers. They're getting the cars lined up. But stay tuned. Stay lit. It's about to get spicy. Wow. So wait, wait, what what is going on here? Oh, we got we got VIPs who's showing up. Is the president this here? What's is going not on? The run of show, and I think one of <laughs> those is actually my ride back to the airport in the morning. So. Okay, I like it. Wait, is it the chop top? Look at this pit viper insanity, and then of course it's being led. Got a brand new crate engine under the hood of that Summit Racing Equipment van, but. I, I, it's, oh, hey, FYI, it's for sale. There you go, Larry. The Pit Viper. That's yep. my ride. That's, That's my ride. ride to the airport in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm seeing the Juke Squad fellows out there. And uh, I, I, 
I don't know who's pilot. I believe JH is obviously pilot one, the one with JH Diesel 4x4. Uh, I believe another one is piloted by Ronnie Renner, the uh, the two-wheel legend, lives here in Florida, and he's having a good time. I believe Blake Wilkie, but this was not on our schedule. What is going on here? This, this ought to be very, very interesting because this puts a whole new meaning to long wheelbase. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if long wheelbase is good, they – they got it right here. So we got bathtub versus the camo limo, and I, you know what? I'm he I'm hearing in my ear now. They're gonna race. They're gonna do a ten lap race. There's the so green here we flag. Go. All right, so it's go time. Let's send it. All right, who are you pulling for? I know Renner's out there. I believe Blake Wilkie's piloting one. Yeah, Blake's in the shreddy one. I believe I got my, my money on the chop top pit viper. Yeah. He's rubbing. He's got got less upper weight, okay. lower center of gravity. But it might just split in half, so hopefully it doesn't get into a tussle. And there we go. We got Rubin is racing. They are too wide coming into turn. Now, if one of these cars spins out and blocks a straightaway, it'll be like that cargo ship down in the, in the canal. Oh, the Suez completely canal. Completely blocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, look at that. The JH Diesel gets on the back bumper of, I mean, is, is the car bending? It's looking more like a banana than a bathtub. I'm telling you, he's got her hung Woo! out now. He has her hung out. Yes, sir. Look at this. Oh, man. He is fighting the wheel. He's going to split that thing in two. He is. Oh, not. send it, baby. Look at that. Getting sideways. He is not shaking. J.H. Diesel moves to the inside. Ooh. we got a block on the back straightaway. Dives in and does the full body block. Sends it sideways. And J.H. gets that position back. Yeah, he's going to. He's oh, going to. He, he comes what are you back. The is that Ronnie? Uh, that would be that's, called that's a shortcut. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, rule one is you got to stay off the grass. Cleater, Cleater's going to get mad. Look, he's making his own rules. Yeah, well, yeah, he's just shorter distance, faster I time. So. I think he was in, in jeopardy of getting lapped if he didn't do something. Oh, man, we're taking the, the short track here, we're taking the inside line. I believe the pit viper He's done used it up. <laughs> <laughs> right? He's got a – oh, man, look at this. Again, Blake taking that inside. Oh, here we go. Oh, the, the Juke Squad guys. Now they're just making their own rules. Yep, yep. This is more Mario Kart getting the secret path, getting the fast track. But they still are not leading this race. No. J.H. Diesel in that 4x4, he is driving away. All right. Smoking that right rear. The Shreddy limo pulling through. J.H. Diesel pulling it all – I mean, he's – He's gapping it. I mean, I would say that's about 10 car lengths, but that's three limo lengths. And our other two <laughs> decided they made up enough ground. They'll go back to the three-eighths mile track now. Oh, man. But, again, you, you got to stay off Cleeter's grass. I know he's not happy about that. He was out there mowing it right before <laughs> qualifying. That's right. Loves his grass. Oh, a man and his John Deere. That is, that is a, a love nobody could get in between. All right, so JHD. So I don't even know what, what lap are we on right now. I believe uh, – we're, we're on seven. We're on lap seven. We've got three more to go. And J.H. Diesel, just a grand canyon of a gap between him and the Pit Viper limo. you you got to give Pit Viper all the credit. He he is going down swinging. He's giving it all he's got. All right. We got we got white flag coming up. We got checkered. We got white. Here we go. I don't think this is going to count what's going on on the quarter mile. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Not at all. That was two to go right there. Two, two to, go. to go. So they get the white flag next time by. Yep. Yep. So un unprovoked, unsolicited. We had no idea what was going on. And here we, we get the, the limo race. Pit Viper's got a second win here. Oh, He's closed man. in within about two limo links. Who are you pulling for? Who's going to come out on top? Oh, look at that. A lapper. The shreddy limo gets in the way, tries to. Put the kibosh on the Pit Viper limo. You just watch Pit Viper three and four this time. It'll That's be right. exciting. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We got the checkered flag. It is out, and it looks like, yes, sir, J.H. Diesel and 4x4 four four getting the victory. Pit Viper in second, the Shreddy limo in third, and pulling up. You can barely see him, the camouflage. That is the Scumtails Juke Squad coming in. Not even a contender, But you know what? He'll be able to go home and say, you know what, honey? I got a solid top five finish tonight. <laughs> Don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. Never. Yeah, fact. Fact. I like that. Oh, are we going to get some celebratory Bernies here? Big, long, nasty. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I wasn't sure they could do a burnout, but oh. I believe they can. 
NBD, they got it. And I, you know what? I think it was the aerodynamics, that, that duckbill wing out back, like that kept them planted on the ground versus, you know, you thought the, the, the pit viper, the, the zebra out there was going to have an advantage. I think that might have been a disadvantage because he's creating drag without having that roof. He definitely was strong when the tires were cold. Yeah. Yes, yes. definitely. So the limo race comes to an end, and J.H. Diesel and 4x4 gets the victory in the limo race unprovoked. We had no idea this was going to happen in a 10-lap race. Makes unfolds. me wonder what's going to come out of that gate next over oh, there. Oh, man. <laughs> well, again, that, that capable van, man, that thing does some solid burnouts. That's our pace car. They put a brand-new crate engine in it, courtesy of Summit Racing Equipment. Ah, oh, that was that was fun, man. That was that good. Was fun. That was good. It's again just slowly ramping up to our 100 lap race. We're gonna have our national anthem opening ceremony. Spicy Spence will be performing the national anthem. A man of many talents, singing. I am not. He he definitely is is a jack of all trades. Right. Not sure a master of any, but he is definitely a <laughs> jack of all trades. But I keep going back to this whistling diesel. Yes. Use the nitrous oxide. Remember, they only have. 90 seconds so if i'm doing the math and he used it for about 40 seconds he's already used up almost half of his nitrous oxide that's right. so that's yep. interesting yeah and also um i think cletus was talking about strategy of maybe just using it early and throwing everybody off and then and then he'd, he'd hit it even though we wouldn't have nitrous because i mean when you're driving out there and you see the light go off it might throw them off they're not keeping count of how many times no, they use it and no. stuff so again that 90 seconds hit it and quit it and just Dump when it's it gone, up. they'll know it's gone. Exactly. They'll know it's gone. Exactly. Yes. Um, I'm wondering about tires and, and attrition. I mean, I mean, they're on nitto tires. They're, they're road tires. They're not race. They're not slicks or anything like that. But, um, you know, keeping tires underneath the vehicle and seeing if they're going to last the 100 laps. Well, when you see how loose some of those those Crown Vicks were, mm -hmm. I mean, in smoking that right rear, that that's smoke is something. It, right. It's taking rubber off that tire. So, and remember, right now the plan is, 100 green flag laps. You may say, well, they'll have a lot of caution, so that'll help them conserve tires. Going into this race, the caution laps do not count. It is 100 green flag laps. So. Good, well noted. And also, they're going to be a little lenient on cautions, too. Only time, They're, they're going to kind of let them rub in his racing, right, going for it. Well, the only real true caution that we're going to see is if somebody pushes them up up into the wall. They yes. don't. They don't want to see that kind of malicious. You know, we want everybody to be safe. I mean, these have you know harnesses. They have cages, so they're they're properly outfitted safety wise. But that's the only true time you're going to see a true caution. They're going to do what I've been screaming at college football referees to do for several years: swallow the whistle, man. Let them play football. <laughs> We're going to let them race here tonight. That's right. Roll Tide, right? You, <laughs> that's I, it. I, I, I saw your mask here, and obviously, you know, since we're since we're on camera, take the mask off. We're going to have some fun. Man, the place looks great. From, from 2.4 hours of Le Moltz to now, man, Cletus and the whole team, they just did such a bang-up job. It looks really nice. I, I was blown away. You were here roughly a year mm -hmm. ago for yep. the first Freedom 500. I was here in November for the 2.4 hour of Le Moltz. And, of course, the biggest thing, uh, very different from when you were here, yep. very different when I was here, is seeing all of these fans in the grandstands. That just, that just it gives me goosebumps because I guess we've been racing – for so many months now, well over a year, yeah. with either no matter what type of racing, with either no crowd, very limited crowd, well, we got them packed in here tonight. In fact, we keep telling them, tighten up yep. where we can get some more folks in this place. That's right. That's right. Hey, fans here at Freedom Factory, let me hear you stomp your feet. Let's see how loud we can get this place. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, let's let's get a wave going, Spence? Spence, you down there? Are you with me, bro? You want to get, yeah, get, get, a, a get a wave going? Yeah, let's get a wave going. Yeah, good old let's wave. Get a wave going. But first, I like that bleacher. Fuck you going. Let's do two on the feet, one on the hands. Ready? Let's go. Oh, they got it. Right, they got it. Going. Let's go. That's pretty good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get a wave. We're Don't break the bleachers. I was going to say, go easy on Cletus's bleachers here now. Yeah, but we're going to put them through the test with all that money he spent on them. So we got to test and make sure they work. All right, we're going to get a wave starting down this side. Can you guys see me? You guys are starting, all right? All the way down at the end. On three. One, Send it. Two, three. Send it. There we bring go. Bring it down. Bring it down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go all the way through. Spence, oh, is there is there is there a riptide? Is it going back? Can the fans go? Can it go back? We'll see how much skill they got, buddy. Bring Send it back. back. Bring it back. Coming back to Send the it back. Bring it back. Send it back. Oh, there we back. go. 
That's what I need to see. Hey, Spence, have you ever done the audio wave? It's something that I invented, which is pretty fun. <laughs> have you ever done the audio wave? I haven't done that, man. Okay, let's, let's do the shock wave. Okay, everybody, everybody sit down real quick, okay? All right. Now, where's Spencer? Where you started it? Yeah. Like the wave, but you, everybody's going to yell, woo! Okay? Okay. So it's the audio wave. You start it, okay? All right. So we're going to start down there on my cue. It's going to be a verbal audio wave. Yes, sir. So just give me a, instead of doing a woo, let's do a yee-yee. Okay. All right, let's do a yee yee. So on that end, where you started, you're going to give me your yee yee. It's going to start going all the way through. All right, on that end, one, two, three. Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh! Good stuff, right? Okay. All right. Send it back. Send it back. <laughs> All right, that's good. Oh, that was good. Have you ever done one of those, Spence? What would you guys think of the qualifying? Did you guys hear me talking to Whistling Diesel over there? He said he's willing to trade half his tank of gas for another bottle of nitrous. <laughs> Apparently, he's pretty much goosed on that whole bottle. But it sounded like a spicy qualifying. I couldn't see it, but I heard you guys losing your minds over it, splitting your wigs wide open. That was pretty spicy, huh? So did you guys find out yet who was the number one qualifier? Oh, I, I got it. You guys want to hear the top three? All right. First place qualifier, Alex Bowman. Okay, that's expected, NASCAR race driver. Then second qualifier was Kevin with KSR. Build it. Yeah, that's a good one, man. That guy can drive. All right, I'll rip through these. Third, Tanner Faust. Pretty impressive. Fourth, Vice Grip, Vice Grip Garage. Number five, number five, number five. Number five. Test. Number five, we got Whistling Diesel with that spicy laugh. <laughs> Pretty crazy there. Then we had Randy Popes, number six. TP, number 199, Travis Pastrana at number seven. Ryan Turk in the red Toyota, the only non crown Vic out there, number eight. Then we got Haley Deegan bringing up the front of the pack at number nine. Nick Seuss from Side by Side Blog, Big Dogs Only, number 10, Adam LZ, 11. Jack Stan, Jimmy James Tal, number 12. Chelsea Denofa sitting right behind him in 13, followed up by Brent with PFI Speed, number 14. Let's hear it for Brent. Okay, local favorite, fan favorite. Then we got Blake Wilkie, Shreddy Life, number 15. Heavy D, 16. Taylor Ray at 17. Then we got Diesel Dave bringing it at 18. You guys aren't going to believe this. I think he's sandbagging. Cletus McFarland, number 19. You think that's a smart play? Start in the back of the field, save his car. Last place qualifier right now, we have number 20 at uh, Sean with Murder Nova. Now, I got to tell you guys this. The first five qualifiers were within 0.3 seconds of each other. So it's a very tight field we have going on here. Jared, what do you think of that, the tight field, first top five within three-tenths of a second? It, it's a tight one, man. And Larry and I are up here, and we're wrapping out. And I just got a text from, uh, from Justin at Heat Wave. You know, he sports Cletus. He says, who you got your money on? I'm going to say Tanner Faust. I think, Tanner, I think Tanner's a real contender. But, you know, I don't know if you heard us talk about it, Spence, but uh, Tanner's never raced an oval asphalt. So who do you have your money on there, Larry? Yeah, I definitely think you can tell Tanner's taking this serious. I mean, right. he's here to have fun. Don't right. get me wrong, but he is taking this serious, and I think they even talked about it. He's trying to figure out how can I find another tenth, how can I find another tenth. But I think Alex Bowman, starting this race from the pole, he controls the race. And, mm -hmm. and Alex is used to these longer races, has a lot of laps here. Mm -hmm. You know, I think if you're going to win this race, you're going to have to beat Alex Bowman in that 48 car. Yep, or the car is going to have to beat him. <laughs> don't beat yourself. Don't yeah. beat yourself. Don't beat yourself. Don't overdrive. Spence, you're doing an awesome job down there. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my brother. As we got the drone coming in, and we got the 48. Who's out there in that 48? That's Alex Bowman. There's your number one qualifier. After him, you see Kevin KSR, the 78. Yes, sir. Yeah, Kevin Smith, uh, KSR Performance Fabrication. They do a lot of work for Cletus McFarland. I was talking with him today. He has three daughters. His oldest daughter, Karis, is 10 years old. He said, look what she gave me before I came down here. It's a bracelet she made that just simply said 
a racer. He was so proud oh, to be sporting that bracelet. That's awesome. Well, there is our pace car. Again, the Summit Racing Equipment van. And we got our number one and number two qualifier. We'll get all the vehicles out here. That's where you're going to scream. Spence, what do you got down there, bud? Dude, I'm getting down here. I got to interview Alex Bowman, our number one qualifier. Come yeah. here, bud. The fans got to hear from you what you got out there and how you did it. First and foremost, Kevin, the first top five qualifiers fall within three tenths of a second of each other. So you guys are not safe yet. How'd you do, bud? Uh, I just floored it. So, uh... No, it, it drove pretty good. I'm I'm ready to rip here. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool people out here. Really cool to see this many fans in the stands. Um, yeah, thank you guys for all coming out. Really appreciate it. We're going to put on a hell of a show. Awesome, man. I, I have no doubt that you guys are. We got Tanner Faust right here in the third place. And he was talking to me back here saying, like, I've never been in an oval. Oh, you did get pool noodles in there, dude. Is that helping you? Yeah, the pool noodles, are, they're a the secret. I can't even say them. But, yeah, I, I stole them from somebody. And uh, just zip tied them to the seat. It's like a lumbar on the side. Honestly, police should do that in their cruisers, man. It's badass. Awesome, dude. Well, it's uh, super crazy to see that you came out here, no experience on oval, and then you pull a third place qualifier. I mean, I've been talking to these guys. They said the qualifying means almost nothing with 100 laps of carnage going on. So, but I'm going to take it. It's going to be a blast. I mean, look what I've got right behind me here, the master of disaster. So it should be good. Well, let's go see what he has to say. All right. What are you cleaning it for, dude? You're going to wreck it in 30 seconds. Take that helmet off. Let me talk to you. You're stuck in there. You don't know how to get out. You're, you're good. You're good. <laughs> All right. Randy Pope's getting the crowd wild. All right, Whistling Diesel, what the hell happened out there? It, I said it doesn't run on gas very well, so I was just using nitrous the entire time, and I thought I could drift the entire circle, but it didn't work out. I realized that pretty quick, so uh, whatever, you know. Damn, it's crazy. You had everybody losing their mind over it. Dude, TP, what's good, man? I mean, who invited the NASCAR driver, really? <laughs> no, this is awesome. So cool to see an actual cup driver come out on the one weekend they have off, like, all year uh, to come play at the Freedom Factory. I'm so excited about this. When, uh, when Cletus called, I was like, you got to be kidding me. Yes, whatever we're doing, I'm in. That's awesome. Well, thank you for showing up. You actually did pretty well. What are you, number seven? I think you're seventh or eighth, man. That's good. Yeah, you can't even get a workout in six. It's that seven's the number, you know? <laughs> awesome. We got side-by-side -side blog, Nick Seuss coming in, and then we had Ryan Turk, the only one in that Toyota sticking out like a sore thumb. Damn. Give it up for Ryan Turk, baby! Good job qualifying, man. Yo, Cleeter. What's the skinny, man? Second to last. Damn! That's all I'm talking about, dude. We got the right people here to race tonight. So, dude, qualified 19th. Oof. But listen, there was some drama on my lap on my qualifier. I don't know if you guys saw the drama. So I said, safe bet. I'm going to chill, let these guys finish out the most savage qualifying lap I've ever seen. And uh, I'm in the back of the pack. So y'all watch. I'm going to be climbing up to the front, but... Uh, Spence, man, you've been doing a great job, and Larry and Jared just killing it. Oh, we got Haley Deegan pulling up. It's okay. I'd say I was avoiding the drama, too. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, Whistling Diesel, honestly, just a walking, like, content machine. You cannot get anything boring out of this guy. So give it up for Whistling. Let's hear it, dude. That was some awesome driving. Oh, we got a burnout. Still <laughs> qualified fifth. Jack Stan Jimmy can't curb his enthusiasm. It, dude, it doesn't get better, man. Like, you always seem to prove your haters wrong. I love it. So, <laughs> all right. Well, we're looking good, guys. Everyone hang out. Enjoy yourselves. We'll be uh, doing the national anthem here in a few. And uh, we got a special surprise, too. So, hang out. All right. We got Adam LZ here, just finished qualifying. How do you think you did with how you placed with everybody, bud? Oh! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! man. Chelsea doing a standing oh, burnout. Oh, he's getting a hood stop on here. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God. Only at the Freedom 500, folks. I believe I'd save that rubber on those tires. Right. <laughs> Jeez, dude, you got to use those tires, man. Zero chill, Chelsea. Yeah, they'll last this whole race and more. We'll be fine. Chelsea's telling me he thinks he got a dud of a car. I don't know if he's complaining because he wasn't allowed to cheat this year, not do his alignment or anything like that. Oh, 
my God. Cletus knew what I was doing when I showed up. We're all good. <laughs> we like to give him a hard time. Oh, a banana for a lucky fan right there. Hold. Oh, we got another banana coming to the ground. Hey, hang on to that banana. He'll autograph it after the show. <laughs> Heavy banana. That banana, not your banana. That's that banana. Sparks. No, buddy, Whoa, show your spicy. banana. I've <laughs> seen a lot of things thrown in the grandstands. Bananas is not one of them. <laughs> what do you think, Jared? Isn't this crazy? Look, we got another oh banana. We got bananas flying. Oh, he's, he's doing the Mario Brothers thing. Next, we're going to see turtle hey, shells. Dave, Dave, we need some bananas down here. Dave, you can't, you're throwing your lunch. What is, yeah, what is Dude, going on here? Dude, he's throwing fried chicken. Fried chicken? This is a heck of a race. Wow. He's just, he's just cleaning the back seat out. Dinner and a, a show. A spicy pickle. Give it up. Who wants the spicy pickle? Oh, man. Oh Not going to be pretty. Oh, oh, dude. You just threw away all your nutrition for the race. I'm fine. I'm full. I'm ready to go. The people need it more than I do. <laughs> you hear that, guys? He's doing it for the people. Never mind. He's got a whole banana tree in here. Oh, what he <laughs> should do is stick the bananas in the tailpipes of the competitors. Hey, now we're talking. Yo, banana in the tailpipe trick. Hey, hey, hey. It's all a family hey, show. Hey, Spice, can I grab the mic for a sec? Yeah, dude. All right. All right, listen, guys, pay attention for a second. All right, this side, you guys are going to be hell yeah. This side, you're going to be brother, all right? Ready? Here we go. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, how do you guys feel about being the first crowd at the second ever Freedom 500. Let's go, dude. I am so fired up. So, all right, Spicy, she's all yours, brother. Dude, well, thanks for letting me do my thing, man. I couldn't be happier. Your fans are the best. These guys are lit. Half of them can't stay seated. The other half's got too much bananas and fried chicken in their belly to stay standing. So, God. What did you guys think? I mean, we watched, the, how many of you guys saw the first pay-per-view of the first race? Oh my God, you guys are the diehards. It's just so much sweeter seeing it live in person, huh? Who do you guys really think is gonna be dead last? You think it'll be Nick Seuss from Side by Side Blog, dead last? <laughs> hey, come here, bud. Hey, hey, don't, don't show me that thumbs down. Hey, hey, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put it back in. Put it back in. <laughs> hey, I uh, just want to say uh, I'm going to win. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We have – what do we got? Oh, no, they're not yelling at me. Dude, how about a Bartle skeet? Who, which side wants Bartle? Which side wants skeet? Okay, this side's Bartle. All right, we got left side Bartle. Y'all going to be skeet. We're going to get it going real fast. I want to hear you guys echo off that side. I want the pit crews over there to be scared, shivered in their jeans, all right? On three, this side Bartle. Skeet. You guys are nasty. You guys are crazy. All right, guys. Let's see how loud the fire and EMS guys can do Bartle Skeet. You ready? Hey, they did it. Good job, boys. Awesome. Thank you guys for coming out. We couldn't do this without you. We appreciate y'all keeping us safe. So hopefully we give you guys. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. All right, do a kickflip. <laughs> Gosh, hey Spence, who, if this was a, a fashion contest, who has the best livery? Who has the if, if we gave style points? Um, right here, one hundred percent. LZ. Adam LZ's car is so gorgeous. Wow. He's got paint drips on. He's got multiple colors going. I think this is my favorite. Give it up for Adam LZ's livery. Okay. What about Chelsea Denova's? You get a fat boo. So boo. Spence, Spence, the car up here, the black '62. Now, I don't know about the looks, but I have never seen so much effort put into decorating a car as Haley Deegan and her crew. I, and they ran out of paint at the hardware store. That's actually concrete paint, spray paint that's on that car. And that livery should look familiar to you, Larry, because you were in Talladega Nights, and that's what it is. So it's got me, and then, of course, it's got to have the one-pound Pomeranian Rambo on the hood, right, Haley? All right, so I'm here down here at Haley's car. What color did this car start at 
when you showed up today? It was a nice, solid monster green. And it's funny, I got a little backstory. Cletus texted me a picture of this car, and he's like, what number do you want? I was like, oh, I'll take 62. I had a whole game plan. And he texted me a picture of this green car. It said 29 on it. I was like, uh, that's not my car. I came here, and the stickers were upside down on it. So I was like, we got to spice this thing up. Absolutely. I like your usage of the word spice. Spicy you know who spans. put the stickers on? Uh, the sticker-wise, yeah, yeah. I didn't think it was you. These guys right here put the stickers on upside down. Sorry, fellas, but <laughs> they did all the stickers, so they were working hard. So you said, hey, I got to get this thing black. You got the big me sticker. You got the Pomeranian. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of work we put into this. We threw my dog in the hood, uh, put the me on the front, and we're going to send it out there. That's awesome. Now, guys, give it up for our only female driver of the day, starting in the front half of the pack. Spence, I'm a little concerned. She says she's got her dog under the hood. What is, is this one? This is one Pomeranian power. Yeah, it's one Pom power. Pom power. But she, power. she has the one phrase that counts. I want to go fast. And that's all it is. <laughs> hey, there you go. All right, guys, let's hear it for the ladies. Add a baby. All right. Who's going to help me out? Jared, I'm tossing up to you. I got to get ready, warm up these vocal cords for oh. this national anthem. Oh, you get ready. You don't, you don't need any prep, baby. We got Turk there. Turk, are you leaving already? What are you, what are you doing here? You're, you're leaving? You got gifts? Are you, like, uh, are you like Santa Claus? You got the red suit on. Oh, no, no, what, what's he doing? What's he doing, Larry? You just never know. I think what he's doing is he's trying to tell everybody, look, just because I'm the lone Toyota Camry, mm -hmm. there is not a bullseye on the back of this. But there is one on Tanner's car, which looks a little, again, I don't know if that's a target or what it is. But, hey, hey, hey easy, easy. Tanner, they have to catch you before they can get to the target, right? Isn't that the way it works? That's okay. Right. That's, that's right. right. So uh, we, we have our 20 vehicles here. We are getting prepped for our national anthem. All right, so uh, as, as we are getting prepared here, Chelsea, you having fun, buddy? You, uh, you win uh, the, the least favorite car, so congratulations as far as livery. Yeah, so uh, uh, who, who, again, after seeing qualifying, you're saying Bowman is the guy to beat. He really has the target on his back. He, he definitely. I know Tanner Faust has the target literally on the back, <laughs> yeah. but, I, but to your point, Jared, I do think Tanner Faust He's just going to get better and better and better. When he drove off into turn one for qualifying, first time on an oval, first time on asphalt. Like I said earlier, he's raced about everything. One little thing that I found interesting looking at these cars today is it, they have the five-point racing harness. They have a few roll bars, but it's essentially a stock bucket seat. And I know talking to some of these drivers, the hardest thing, no matter how hard you pull yourself down on those belts, is staying in the seat. Well, i got to give credit to Taylor Ray in the 07 car. Sent his man, I think, to the local Walmart, Kmart, and bought, like, swimming noodles. Pool you noodles. know, pool noodles. Yeah, the foam. And they have taped them down or tie-wrapped them down the side of each seat to kind of hold him to make a small little cocoon that's going to hold him in that seat. These, they're some of the most creative minds down there, and I guarantee you, every one of them, they're just like me. When they look at the rule book, they don't see what you can't do. They see what you can do. That's yep. the way you work a rule book. Yeah, that's right. And, and Tanner did have that set up, too. He did. He put the pool noodle. Everybody started looking at what's going on here and getting creative. Again, Chelsea was talking about maybe there's a concept, too, where maybe next race you get 30 minutes. You can do some things. Chelsea was saying that some of the guys, and I don't know if Haley did it. I say guys, just generally speaking here, they're taking the windshield washer fluid and the, and the hoses and – having it spray on the tire to keep them cool well oh boy oh and again it's it's monkey see monkey do uh -huh. i know when i was here in november for the two point hour of la mullets uh alex bowman he started a fad he kept looking inside the car and he said why do i need a back seat why do i need this upholstery and he just started ripping stuff out of the car because remember the best place to move weight is out of the car. <laughs> That's the best thing you can do, especially with these old heavy Crown Vicks. Yeah. And next thing you know, everybody was ripping seats and, and interior, anything they didn't need. 
They didn't let them do that this time. The only thing they could do to these cars, other than Chelsea DeNova changing his oil, which I still question mm -hmm. what changing the oil really means, uh, the only thing you could do is pretty much kind of paint your car up and decorate it a little bit. Right. I know he had to put some pens oil through the veins. That's, a, I think, contractual. Maybe he had to have pens oil through the veins of that vehicle. I'm just glad OSHA didn't see how they had that thing <laughs> jacked up. That, right. that was a, that was yeah. an accident waiting to happen right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. I'm seeing the side-by-side -side blogs. And, uh, hey, uh, Sue, you didn't choose that pink color, did you? No, oh, I, 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 it really brings out your eye color, though. You look beautiful, and you got you got the side by side whip out back. Murder Nova in the back of the pack, man. Are you gonna bring it together? I don't. Did you see Murder Nova's toenails? They're painted bright red. I did not see that. I, I don't. I don't. You know, we, we talked about who was it? Was it uh, who had the who had the brace of their daughter? But I don't know who painted Murder Nova's toenails. But they they are they look pretty. They look really nice. I, I did not see that. But I, and the other thing I go back to, Jared, is Cletus McFarland. Remember, mm -hmm. he's the defending champion of yep. the Freedom 500. He said he has no problem winning his own race, no problem whatsoever. But starting 19th, and to hear him say, "I'm going to the front." That could either work out really good or really bad. Yeah. I just, I'm anxious to kind of watch how that works. Uh, he will be a man on a mission. He is, uh, he's the most humble guy he knows. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of pay homage and give some respect again to Cletus and his whole team. Thank you so much for just putting on an event like this, uh, acquiring the track, putting on this when you could watch it from home or be here in the building. But uh, I, had a, I had an opportunity to just listen in to Travis 199 and Cletus talking earlier. And Cletus actually wanted his number to be 199. But out of respect and with the potentiality of Travis Pastrana joining him at one of his events, he chose not to do 199 because the opportunity and potential of him coming out here. And look at this. Dreams come true. You know what I mean? I know Cletus has a lot of, uh, you know, just really admires, acknowledges, respects Travis Pastrana. So I think it's a, it's a cool kind of pinch me moment for, for Cletus to put on an event like this and have – Somebody as uh, legendary and iconic as Travis among just this such a cool, talented field. I mean, there's cameras everywhere. There's so much vlogging going on, all this content. And that's what we want the fans to do, too, is really enjoy it, embrace it. This is a celebration. I mean, just, just given, you know, how wacky and wild 2020 was, and here we are, 2021. Freedom 500, baby. Summit Race Equipment. So blast. We, we are on our way back, and mm -hmm. it, it's it's the people of this country that's making this happen by yep. doing the things that we're supposed to, to be doing. Uh, I've been vaccinated, got my second shot one week ago tonight, got my card over my briefcase, so I'm very relieved to get that done. But, you know, numbers, you would think I'd be a big numbers guy. You know, being a crew chief for 18 years in the Cup Series, you would think the 28 number is very special to me, the three. And they are very special. But as I always told my son Brandon at races, mm -hmm. when you get caught up in numbers, they all look good no matter what number when they're sitting in victory lane with champagne dripping off of them. They all look good. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, we are getting ready here to, uh, to see some action. And, uh, again, the national anthem will be unfolding. You can see the drivers just mingling down there. We're, uh, we're really excited about it. We have a special, special treat for you here, the national anthem, the opening ceremony. So... Just enjoy the sights and sounds here as we are getting prepped at the top of the hour. We'll, uh, we'll get Spicy Spence warming up his pipes, sing the national anthem. Like I said, a special, special surprise. Should be really cool. It really will be. Uh, something that uh, we always look forward to every single time we go racing, for sure. All right, cameras are on. Our staff is ready. And... Not sure what's going on. Looked like Cletus McFarland to pass some time. He's challenging some of the oh, other drivers Blake. to a foot race. Oh, we got a foot race a between foot race Wilkie. down on the skid pad. Oh, my gosh. I, this Stick to driving. Oh, Blake. The hair, I think, uh, gave him a little propulsion. The, you know, the mullet might have slowed down old Cleeter here. It's kind of like that, that chop top limousine, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> having conversations earlier with some of the drivers. Chelsea, um, he won in St. Louis last year at Formula Drift. He jumped off the wall and broke his heels. 
<laughs> that's not that's not what's the way you're supposed no, to celebrate. Yeah, not that's, at all. That's not not a good ending whatsoever. No, from from just absolute elation to falling on the ground and looking like Willy Wonka just as he tumbled uh, off the wall. Hey, Randy, you having fun down there? I see you got your uh, balaclava. You got your the, the the flying moose. The moose is loose, my friend. The three one one three, Randy Popst. Awesome cat. And then we got to the Vice Grip Garage, 1776, the Camo Livery. What's up, man? You having fun down there? You got a lot of fans here. Let's let's uh, let's let's walk through the names here. Who's cheering for Alex Bowman, number 48? Who's cheering for Kevin of KSR in the 78? Who's pulling for number 34, Tanner Faust? The Golden Child. That's right. How about uh, 1776, the Vice Grip Garage? One thing you want to pull, we talk about our men and women of the military. You notice the camouflage paint scheme on that 1776. And on the deck lid and on the hood is a thank you to our military. Let's give our military a big, big hand. All right, you got the 01. You can see the stars and bars there on the roof looking a little General Lee-ish. That is who's pulling for Whistling Diesel, the 01. <laughs> you see him applauding, whistling Diesel, but he wants to take him down. Randy Popes, who's pulling for Randy? Moving on down the line, number 199. He's got a watermelon, question mark? TP Travis Pastrana. Oh, boy. Oh, we got bananas. We got fruit. We got fried chicken. And was that a strike or was that a gutter ball? I think that was a gutter ball there. Travis, that watermelon will make a whole lot bigger mess than those bananas on this front stretch. All right. And then next up we got number 411, Ryan Turk. In the Toyota Camry. All right, so moving on down the line. What about Haley Deegan? All right, we got the side-by-side -side blog, the pink killer destroyer, Sue. How are you going, man? All right, moving on down the line again in the 05. What uh, Spence thinks is the best-looking paint job out there, Adam LZ. James, get the toolbox, buddy, because you're driving that thing. You got Bush on the hood. He's pounding it. Make some noise for James Hall. 88 gold wheels looking like his Ford Mustang and FD. Definitely a different weapon of mass destruction. 88 Chelsea Danofa. All right. Oh, man, a lot, a lot of people uh, made some money betting on this gentleman in other races. See if he could deliver again. This is awesome. PFI Speed Brent. He's got the pink stripe down the side of that vehicle. Make some noise for Blake Wilkie. We saw chicken. We saw bananas coming out of that vehicle. The number 801, Heavy D. He's got more bananas. Right? Oh, my gosh. It's like a fruit basket. He's going to throw out edible arrangements soon. All right, the bright gold, the gold member, the 07. That is Taylor Ray. Rounding out the Diesel gang, a lot of D's out here. Make some noise for Diesel Dave. This is the house that Freedom built, Freedom Factory Zone, the one, the only, Cletus McFarland. With the top 20 finish in qualifying. That's right, top 20 for this gentleman. His toenails are red. He has murdered out the 187. Make some noise for Sean Murder Nova. What's on his playlist? What do you think is playing right now? Oh, no, oh, I, thought, I thought he was listening to music right there, maybe some K-pop or something like that. I feel like, you know, it would be a good, good, well, good time Well, hopefully starting 20th in a 20-car field, he's listening to something motivational to motivate him. Okay. He, he, there's only one way he can go. Mm-hmm. Left. <laughs> and straight to the front. All right. We are getting ready. Oh, look at, look at Cleeter, man. I mean, I, I know he's a pilot, but I didn't know he flew planes. Yeah, I've seen him in front-end loaders. I've seen him in bulldozers. But this may be a first right here. Of course, you notice the patriotic helmet right there. Oh, yeah. Red, white, and blue. This gentleman is amazing. Oh, he's getting strapped in. He's getting in. pretty serious about this. Send it.
Thank you so much for joining us here. Freedom 500 Summit Racing Equipment Freedom 500 here at the Freedom Factory. I'm Jared Dienda, Larry McReynolds, a.k.a. Larry Mack. We're about to throw down. So if you would please stand, remove your hats. Thank you to all our first responders. Thank you to the military. Thank you for being part of the best country in the world in my eyes. And now please stand, remove your hats as Spicy Spence sings the national anthem. Thank you guys so much. I'm super excited to do this for you guys. We are timing this thing up for a very special treat for each and every one of you. I'm going to get the green light from my main guy right now, you know, just in a minute. But I want you all to know I'm definitely not a professional. But I'm going to give it my all because that's what we do here at the Freedom Factory, brother. Yeah. The same way only none of these guys are professional Crown Vic drivers, except that man. <laughs> he qualified 19th, by the way. Okay, you guys ready? Let's do this. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare <laughs> the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangle banner yet away or the land of the free Said he's not a professional singer. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, the Freedom Factory has a great treat for you. Cletus has worked with his friends at Sierra Nevada Corporation and following the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. That is an A-29 Super Tucano light attack aircraft. And this is an honoring flyby. Thank you, honoring all of America as they're built by a partnership of Sierra Nevada and Ambry Air in our home state of Jacksonville, Florida. The combat proven A-29 is the gold standard of light attack and reconnaissance aircraft is the most reliable and cost-effective solution for basic and advanced flight and combat training. Close-in air support operations, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, counterinsurgency and irregular warfare scenarios. The aircraft has already been selected by 15 air forces around the world to deliver these cost-effective capabilities. And that is that A-29 Super Takata. Make some noise for Spicy Spence. Woo! Nice job. And he said he's not a professional. Thank you guys so much. All right. Cletus, can I do the start your engines thing? Because I think it's about freaking that time. You guys ready to see some racing? All right. I need each and every one of you on your feet to help me with this. On your feet. All right. We're going to say start your engines on three. Actually, we're going to say drivers. Start your engines. One, two, three, drivers. 
Yeah, let's go racing, baby! Atta boy, Spence getting the fans hyped. Man, listen to the purr of that Toyota Camry and 19 <laughs> Crown Victorias. Oh, man, awesome job. Great. Thank you so much, Spence. Keeping the crowd hyped, keeping it going. I still haven't seen you cut off your, your pant legs yet. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't cutting these rigs off. It's going to get cold here tonight. Oh, uh, there's James. He's throwing out his hat. Look at that. I mean, come on. Heavy D threw out chicken and bananas. You throw a hat, James, please. Have some courtesy. Yeah, he was still throwing <laughs> more bananas right before he got into the car. But here's the deal, Jared. We've had qualifying. Yep. We've had limos race. Yes, sir. We've had driver intro. Uh-huh. We've had the national anthem. Woo. We've had a flyover. We've had start your engines. I think it's time to get on with it here. Let's send it, baby. That's what we do. Lick the stamp and send it. 20 vehicles. They are led by that Summit Racing Equipment van with that brand new Crate LS3. Look at that. We are in the cockpit with TP Travis Pastrana. Travis, we see you, bud. There it is. The signature double thumbs up. Nitro Circus is owned. All right, do a backflip. Do a backflip, Trav. Come on, you got this. I think it's a little <laughs> late for that. <laughs> maybe, maybe after the 100 lapper. He doesn't have the pool noodles. He does not have the pool noodles. He's got the Red Bull skid lid, of course. Um, man. Tell you what, he's really good at beer pong. We played we played until the wee hours last night. Oh, he's got a banana too. All right. You know what? I've watched Travis Pastrana do a lot of neat things, mm -hmm. but to me, back in July of 2018, Las Vegas, Nevada, when he paid tribute to his role model, Evil Knievel, by making three, not one, not two, but three record-breaking jumps with a motorcycle in a single day, 143 right. feet over 52 cars, 192 feet over 16 buses, but the one that gave me goosebumps yeah. was jumping over the famous Caesars Palace Fountain, a jump Evil Knievel failed at in 1967, right. but Travis succeeded and succeeded well. That's right, that's right. All right, there we are. Cletus, we got, we got, don't do anything incriminating. We got you on the camera there, brother. Hey, everybody make some noise for all the racers, if you will. We're throwing on those harnesses. We are getting hyped. We are getting ready to glow. Go and glow, by the way. Lights are going to come on. Go and glow. Ty you got tire it. Tires are going to get warmed up. We're going to get ready. But, again, Bowman, our number one qualifier for just tuning in. We are live. I'm Jared Deanda. Larry Mack sitting next to me calling the action. And Spicy Spence just wrapping up. A beautiful – oh, the watermelon. The juice is loose. The watermelon has broken. What that, that could be a mess. That could be a mess right there. You know, looking at Cletus McFarlane there, we're here having fun. They're mm -hmm. going to beat and they're going to bang. But when you look, these drivers are required to have all the safety equipment. Yep. An SFI rating helmet, more than anything, the most important device is the head and neck restraint device that goes underneath those shoulder harnesses. They've got the five-point harness. You have to have the, the fireproof suit. Yep. Fireproof gloves, fireproof everything. So one thing, Cletus McFarland, we're here to have a good time, but safety first for these 20 drivers. Yeah, not safety third. No, no. Safety, safety first. One more thing on safety first, fellas, up there. I just want to remind everybody staying off this fence right here, your safety is our number one concern, so uh, especially you. You're my guinea pig. Tell this guy to move back on three. One, two, three. Move back. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are my safety enforcer. Back up to you, Jared. Larry. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Yep, safety is our number one priority, and we're going to find out who comes out on top. Uh, Bears repeating 100 laps, green laps. No, caution. Caution does not count. And uh, we'll see who comes out on top. And, and I liked what you said. Swallow the whistle. I've never, I've never heard that one. Let them race, man. Let them race. Let them race. We got the, the lit up tail whip there with the uh, stars and stripes out the back of the side-by-side -side blog. And we got a packed house here. We are super pumped. James, we'll see if he needs the toolbox for his own vehicle. Remember, six backup Crown Vicks. So uh, if, if one does break, you only get one. You can, you can only get one replacement. Travis Pastrana said, get mine ready. He knows he's going to send it maybe into the wall or into another vehicle. I want to know what whistling, uh, you know, whistling diesel just got bonkers. Speaking of all the bananas and all the fruit, he was bananas. But I, I'm wondering how his vehicle is going to say now. He says it just doesn't run good on gas, only on nitrous. Well, he doesn't have probably but about uh, 40 or 50 seconds of <laughs> nitrous oxide left. And, you know, the other thing is expect some flat tires. Yep. We're going to have some flat oh, nitto yeah. tires. They've got five tire changers.
but you have to go outside the racetrack in turn three. They've got five tire changers over there to change the tires on these Crown Vicks yep. and the one Toyota Camry, I might add. So uh, we, <laughs> you can expect some flat tires, right, no question. Right, and, I, and in the driver's meeting, um, I think Cleeter said that if you hit the pace car, you get bonus points. He might give you, <laughs> might give you an extra lap. Right, yeah, so go for it. Go and bash away that Summit Racing Equipment party van over there. And uh, I'm wondering how the, the track conditions are going to change. You know, the sun is setting. The lights will come on. And uh, Cletus and the whole team definitely invested a lot into the track to look like this. I mean, the grass is, whoo, I love golf. And to be honest, that looks that looks better than some of the golf courses I play. This this track looks beautiful. Yep. And one once again, before these car, cars roll off, you, the crowd, give yourself a hand for yep. coming out tonight. And uh, we, we've been, we've really been talking up, obviously, all the Crown Vicks. But uh, Bowman is a Chevy Crown Vic. Interesting. He's got a bow tie on the hood. He's taking care of that sponsor. <laughs> right. He's definitely doing the right thing there. Absolutely. Right. Exactly. Absolutely, exactly. he is. They almost look like a bunch of Easter eggs lined up down yep. there. Yep. See what I did there? I, I did. I okay. did. It's, it, it's super totes adorbs, Larry. Definitely. Yeah. It looks, uh, looks like taste the rainbow. We'll see uh, what Skittles, what flavor comes out on top. Bowman with that signature 48. He's got his full-on ally race suit. I'm telling you, Tanner, I, he's one to watch. He will surprise you. He is very talented. Randy Post, I'm, I, it, it really comes down to equipment, keeping the tires underneath the vehicle, not getting flats. What do we got? This is going to be an issue. You just saw Cletus McFarlane. It, for about the first 30 or 40 laps, going down the front straightaway into turn one. The sun is going to be an issue. Now, I looked at these cars closely. You would think they still maybe have the sun visors in them. <laughs> Just flip the sun visor down. That's all you got to do. Right. Get the meter going, right? Start the meter and put the visor down. And uh, I know Cletus has his heat waves on, so he's going to be blocking the sun and blocking out the haters. So uh, we'll see that. But uh, there it is. So there's TP. He's got his shades on. Let me see those driving gloves. Those He's got the sweat. sun visor. There's oh, the there sun visor. We do have the sun visors in there. Good <laughs> look, stuff. Look at that. Uh, that would be one heck of a taxi ride. You jump in with uh, with Travis Estrana and uh, the big old giraffe. He's, he's shoehorned into that big old Crown Vic. And it, we talked about it being fairly cool, but mm -hmm. one thing that Cletus McFarlane, as we see him right here, told him at the driver's meeting, as far as he knows, the air conditioning works on That's all of right. these Crown Vicks. Under caution, you get a little bit hot, just reach over there and cut the air on. That's all you got to do. <laughs> nice, nice, nice 70, 78, 77 degrees in there. I'm seeing the hood being popped on Chelsea Denova's 88. What is going on there? Well, maybe it's something that they didn't do when they changed the oil earlier. Yeah, today. yeah maybe maybe the headlight fluid was a little low or something. I don't know. The, uh, hey. the, the water-cooled muffler bearing might have gone out. Hey, Jared, can I help you? Can I get some help with you on something What, real what do you need, button? Spence? What do you need? Hey, dude, I got like 20 people down here at the end that okay. made – Paid for their entrance like everybody else, but they just don't have a seat to sit. And I Ooh. want to see if we can get real friendly. If you got some extra space, I got two seats open over here. Thank you. This is the kind of fans I want to see. Yes. Got two more down here. Everybody on the end, start coming over here. We're going to find you guys some seats so you can watch this race. Anybody raise your hand if you got some extra seats, please. We got tons of seats down here. You guys, stand in there. Keep Start walking. Over here in the middle, Spence. Over in the middle, we got Thank some you. seats. Help me doing this. We're going to get this knocked out real quick. <coughs> All reminds right guys, me of church. Yeah, right. guys, Tighten up. Tighten up find, the middle. We're going to find you guys all seats. we got tons of seats in there, okay? Oh, uh, Spence. All right, guys, let me know if you got some spare seats. Everybody move in. Make some room for these folks. They they want to watch the race just like the rest of you. There's no, ba you there's so no bad much. seat here as long as it's a seat. Seats? Come on, guys. We're going to get you guys some seats. Five? You need five seats? All right, let's find five. Let's go. You're with me. You're Spence. on my hip. I'm finding five. They're I'm gonna sit in, he's going to offer up his lap now. I'm telling you, he's an usher at church on Sunday. I can tell. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, is, is, is anybody going to start going around? Seats, they can kind of squeeze five guys, you know. They're pretty skinny. They don't need a lot. Right here. I got five a spot guys? for five right there. Go in once. Go in twice. Let's go. Five seats right up there. Give it right, 25, 25, 25, 30, 30, 25. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, all right. Oh, man. I need six seats. We got a late entry with this John Deere forklift. Good job. What's going on here? You guys need seats? You sure? All right. Thank you, everybody, for helping me find some seats for these good American people. Who's ready to watch some racing? Hey, do you, got, do you guys know who's driving the pace vehicle today? 
When I say J-H, you say J-H, 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 J-H. That's what's up, baby. Let's hear it for J-H. Hey, Spence, how hyped are you about Cletus and Cars tomorrow, bud? What? How hyped are you about tomorrow? Cletus and Cars tomorrow Dude, going down. I'm too excited. How many of you fans are staying for Cletus and Cars? It's almost like you couldn't buy one ticket. You literally have to buy both. I don't care how many credit cards or how many airline miles you need to cash in for it. We're going to both. This guy's like, yep, that's me. Hey, I did that. Also, I want, I want to know who came the furthest. Who came the furthest to this event, Spence? I want you to find that out. Uh, we're finding out that the nitrous broke on the 88. So exit stage left for what was the, the worst looking vehicle out here, Chelsea. Yeah. I love you, but yeah. come on, dude. You, yeah. you and your wife have way more it's style. Cleaner, report what from that the will do is that will use up one of those That's six right. backup cars. I saw Chelsea get on a golf cart. They took him out the gate. So I'm sure he's getting in one of those backup cars here before the green flag even flies. I hey, love well, how they're just. Cleaner reporting from the 99. Right? Yes, sir. All right, listen. I heard a little nitrous backfire. I guess Chelsea was just getting too fired up. Might have hit the nitrous button. So, you know what? It happens out here. You got nitrous on these bad girls. We're going to get some. Uh, we're going to get him a spare. And we're going to run this whole field, all 20 cars. So, Cletus, I do have a question. Yep. Do the backup cars have nitrous oxide? Now, some of them do, brother, and I guarantee you that first one probably does. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, he wait, did point. do the burnout, though, and then shut it off, you know. Yep. That's abuse, dude. He hey, Cleeter, where is the nitrous button? You said he might have accidentally hit it. Where is it at? Point to it. I mean, we got you it's, on the camera. It's right here on the left of the steering wheel. We actually put it on the dash now versus on the steering wheel because the cord is getting wrapped around the column. It happens, you know. It's just part of racing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what do, you think of the, what do you think of the idea? Chelsea had the concept of maybe next race you give everybody 30 minutes and they could do whatever they want. What do you think about that? Dude, well, here's, here's the deal. Some <laughs> of us are YouTubers, and some of us have the tagline in our email, chassis expert. And that's Chelsea Denopa. So I don't know if it's necessarily fair to let chassis experts set their cars up before the race. And, and then you got a couple of YouTubers like myself. We... I don't know how to set it up. So I don't know. I don't know. It's a spec series. I don't think I can can go for that. What, what do you think, Larry? Do you, do you think you get some more uh, creativity, more flexibility, or are you, are you like the spec concept? Yeah, I like I like the spec okay. because that, that measures the talent. And uh, I do have one more question for Cletus, though. Cletus, we were just talking about the sun visors. How bad is that sun going to be going down the front straightaway, say, here in about 15 or 20 minutes before it goes all the way behind the oh, horizon? You know, luckily myself, with my giraffe-like figure, model <laughs> – giraffe like figure my uh my like little sticker thing here is already blocking the sun so i'm dialed okay you're ready to go yeah, yeah just i could see you shading your eyes earlier and so on it's only going to get worse here for about the next 10 or 15 minutes before it gets better yeah i, I think i'm good i you know i'm surprised you're not wearing your you know is bowman he better pull it together i'm gonna be up there in just a few <laughs> Ooh, bow tie Bowman, and uh, I'm surprised you're not wearing your heat waves, bro. Got a text from Justin, and, and uh, I, I don't, I don't think he's, I don't think he has you pegged to win. I'm, I'm getting a text right now. Ooh, oh, I'm sorry, Cletus, but Justin from Heat Wave says uh, he doesn't have you, bro. Who do you think? Who do you think he's pulling for? Oh, he's busy. He's back to business. He's he back, to, back business. to business. But uh, business. all right, so we are moments away from getting going here. We'll get Chelsea his new ride, the 88, and. Uh, I don't, I don't know if they have stickers ready to go or if it's just going to be the blank kind of hero car. I think it's just kind of try to get some numbers on it, but he will not be able to make the oil change in this backup ah. car. He's got what he got here. Karma bit him. He is karma, what it is. Karma ended up getting him, but we'll see. It might might be a fresh. He might be really good. And like you said, all the vehicles, and uh, like Cletus said, they will have nitrous. So uh, get a full 10-pound bottle, 90 seconds of spray, get it going. So uh, as a uh, – Chelsea, we should be rolling hey, out. Hey, Jared, I'm right over here to the left of the booth. I'm trying to find a seat for me, see which section is my favorite group of fans. Okay. I think these guys are pretty spiced up over here. You like that spicy spence, don't Dude. you? Jared. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just saw a guy. He had six empty tall boy Bud Lights in front of him, and we haven't even done one lap. Yeah, my man. He's he, Dude, he's running on empty. He's going Damn. hard. 
he's, he's got to remember it's a long race. You have to pace yourself. You know what I just thought of? He didn't bring you a beer or me no. a beer. Hey, where's, where are those cans about? of bush, bro? Bring me, a, <laughs> bring me a brewski, bro. Yeah, dude. Jared Vianna, the huge beer guy. Larry Mack, what are you drinking? Kool-Aid, Capri He's Sun, a red wine icy. guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Cabernet guy. I'm going to stick with water during the broadcast. Uh, I've got a 5.30 a.m. flight in the morning, too. So, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, just stay up all night and party with us, right? That's <laughs> no, the thing I don't have a good feeling about that. Oh, yeah, you're never hung over for always drunk, man. You just keep the party going, right? Yep, yep. Hey, Spence, I, I asked you, but maybe you could pose the question, who here? Came, who came the furthest? Is everybody from Florida or somebody out of, out of town? What, what this right. guy's saying? I've got it right here. If you came from over 1,000 miles away, stand up. We're going to do this game. Oh, right? wow. Now... If it took you over 24 hours to drive here, stay standing. All right, so this guy takes a bunch of pits. Now, he pees a lot the whole trip. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. So how about this? If you came from over 1,500 miles to get here today, stay standing. Wow. All right, so in the line, if you came from further than Washington State, stand up. Stay standing. All right, we got these guys here. This guy came from Washington State. Give it up for Washington State, 36 hour drive Woo! to come watch the second and very first Public Freedom 500. That's what's awesome, you guys. This guy's holding a flag from some country they didn't teach me about in school. Is that a sweet? <laughs> what is that? That looks like a French fry with a blue background. Sweden? Sweden? What? Yo, I believe Sweden's got Washington State beat. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming. We're getting ready to race. Hang on to your britches. Put your bum on the Swedish. Here we go. All right, so we are ready to go racing. Spence looking good down there. Larry looking great. You got yourself. I'm double, double the Larry, double your fun. We're ready to go and send it, bro. But, you know, we, we're talking about these. we're our fans. Yeah. We've got some drivers from Michigan from Los Angeles, yep. from Utah. So these drivers came a long way yep. as well. Yeah, the, the Heavy D and, uh, and Diesel Dave, they showed up right before the driver's meeting went in there, and they were hyped, and they just, they just went right for it, man. So it's it's awesome. I know Adam LZ just showed up right before. So And they had not driven this course or the vehicles at all until you just saw their qualifying run. All right, are you ready to send it? Freedom Factory, start your engines, drivers! Let's go racing. And that Summit Racing Equipment van will be our pace car. Bonus points if you tap it. That's what Cletus said. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what bonus kind of weird laps. Bonus, bonus laps. Bonus laps. Points mean nothing. Bonus True. laps. Thank now, you. I wish you would look at <laughs> Chelsea <laughs> DeNova. Chelsea. He got him a number put on there on the hood and on the fender and door kind of slash. Oh, man, that thing, that thing looks like it's seen better days, but he's ready to go. The 88 is equipped with a new ride. There you go. Chelsea, I, you know what I used to call him when he, was a, when he competed in a, in a not formal drift prior to that? I used to call him, Chelsea, don't call me a girl, Denofa. But do you know his <laughs> wife's name? Chelsea. Literally. I did not know yeah. that. I met her today, but yeah. I did not know that was her name. Oh, I, I love the. So it looks like he's going to be able to – maintain his starting spot that's right backup yep. car not having to go to the rear. all good and you know what maybe it's a blessing that that happened right there during you know the driver intro of the national anthem uh how he found out the night just broke maybe it sprayed we don't know but again we're ready to go baby here we go 100 laps the second ever summit racing equipment freedom 500 stop your feet freedom factory What's the over under? The, all 20 make it through turns one and two, <laughs> unscathed. I mean, we just saw, you know, Whistling Diesel go ham on and qualifying. I don't think we're going to make one lap before we see some calamity already out of the gate. All right. Again, that pace car sending them through. So here we go. And then we've got Cletus McFarlane in the 99 starting 19th mm -hmm. that's saying, tell Bowman I will be there shortly. Just stand by. Yeah. He's buffering. He's buffering like a downloading a YouTube video right now. Taylor Ray trying to put some heat in his tires. The gold member, the luck of the Irish. We'll see if that brings him any luck. And there's Diesel Dave waving. He's going to throw some bananas, some more fried chicken. I don't know what other kind of sides or condiments he's going to throw out there. But Bowman, he's going to get the clean air as soon as we get green. Look at the sun setting. This is, I mean, this is right out of, I mean, this looks like Days of Thunder. I mean, this is historic. 
So that so Alex Bowman already working on our little summit racing equipment delivery van. The inside line, Alex Bowman, oh, Tanner Faust, Whistling Diesel. That's going to be an interesting line. All three of them lined up there on the bottom. Not to mention behind them, Travis Pastrana in oh, that yeah. 199. All right, looks that. Look at Tanner Faust waving. Oh, we got Bernie's warming up the track. J. A. Oh, Diesel. Oh my God! Woo! That is a way to warm it up. That is a banging burnout by the pace car, Spence. That was nuts. <laughs> you can't catch that at any other kind of racing, folks. No. Just Spence, Jared, happen. been racing for 40 years. That's a first. See in the pace <laughs> car or the pace truck do a burnout. That, that is, is a first. right. All right, Bowman. I saw him. I saw him give a little little love tap there. What, what do they call that when the racers you see in NASCAR? They go rub them on on the door. That's I'm here. Remember me? <laughs> <laughs> Remember me? Right, right. You know my name. All right. He's waving the flag. So we got two laps. Getting the pace. Like you said, look at that coming down, coming down that straightaway. You're looking right into the sun. That's got to be brutal. I know some of them they've got the sun visors down, but mm -hmm. uh, of course Cletus McFarland, he's got a little height on these guys. Yeah. You think about his height versus Haley Deegan. So, Jared, we go. Here we go. we're going to do something special. What you got, Lee? Freedom Factory, the night time is the right time. Everybody Reach up there and pull those belts tight one more Get time. Up. Larry Matt getting the crowd hyped. Let's Spence. go racing. And here we go. Look at up in the bird's nest. You can see our starter. Green means go. Let's send it. Freedom Factory. Summit Racing Equipment. Freedom 500 is going down now. Send it, our 20 racers. Chelsea DeNova, he was three wide before they got through turn four in that 88 car. And he is three wide down the back straightaway. Look at that. We're seeing the 1776 and Tanner Faust already getting into it. A little bit of a tussle here and diving down to the bottom, bottom the whistling diesel 01. But Bowman still with the clean air out front. Bite script garage, though, that 1776. Yep. Side by side. Bowman got real hop off a of turn two that time in the 48. Wow, look at that already. The vice grip garage. He says, I don't even know what I'm doing here. All these famous people and awesome, but I'm gonna give it all I got. And right now, as you said, honoring the oh, look at that. We got some, we got some action here. Tanner Faust with a target on his back. He's side by side with Bowman. So there's your one, two, and three. Vice grip garage, Tanner Faust and Bowman. And there are quite a few car lengths back, the number 78. He is back there, and who, who, who's in the 70? That's KSR Kevin. I tell you, you got to watch Bowman. I watched him in the 2.4-hour Le Mullets. He, he will save his equipment. Let mm -hmm. those guys go up there and use their stuff up. He'll just stay in touch with them. But Tampa. Oh! 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 The 801. That is heavy D, the bananas. Oh, oh you trashed the grass. Just oh. a little bit. Just on the fringe. Oh, he's re-entering the picture. Slide into those DMs. Tanner Faust in that 34 car, though, he is oh, all over the Oh, my goodness. goodness. Oh, boy, the 801 throwing up a roadblock. What are you doing? Oh, man, Heavy D and the boys. Heavy D is just out here having fun. Oh, man, Heavy D throwing up the roadblock. Still throwing the roadblock. Right. I guess he's trying to stay on the lead lap is what he's trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way, Heavy D. And look at that. Tanner got some distance away from Bowman. Oh, no. Heavy D's getting into the, into the lead car. Wow, he is really throwing a wrench in the program right now. Oh, Tanner goes into the side of him. Hey, where's Cleeter? Cleeter's back there quite a bit. Oh, here we're, oh and look at that. Tanner gets spun by Heavy D. That was hard contact. Ooh, wow. There. Heavy D gets punted. Out. Oh, man, look at Whistling Diesel. That back right corner has seen better days, and we got a caution. That is why harnesses and cages are installed in these vehicles. Yeah, I thought we were going to get by without any major damage and then list at the last bit of that accident. Uh, gets into Whistling Diesel, to your point, a lot of damage on that on that car. So they will line them up in the order. Dude, Heavy D just went absolutely bonkers all over the track.
Here's the replay. Watch this, the freedom replay. Heavy D gets to the side of Tanner, spins him out. Heavy D comes to a halt. But watch this, whammo. Yeah, that's that's that that like to have got really bad right there. Oh. That was in front of almost the entire field. Oh boy, makes a noise for whistling Diesel here. He avoided the contact and qualifying, but Heavy D goes hard into him. T-Bone's the back end, spinning him out, causing some damage. We'll see if his car is runnable. All right, hey, Jared, I'm yes. down here on the fence looking at the front row seat of the damage on Whistling Diesel's car. Let's just say he didn't disappoint with destroying something today. I'm looking at a taco rim, the whole rear axle's crooked, but it wasn't his fault, he actually got hit by another driver. Did you guys see that action right up here? Was that some racing or what? Well, let's hope we can get Whistling Diesel back out there in another car here soon. All right, we're riding in here with Cletus. What was Heavy D doing? I wish you could go grab some words with him. He just went all over the track there, Spence. Hey, Chelsea Denofa with that replacement vehicle. He looks he looks to be uh, back up to snuff. But he put a whole new meaning to jump in the start of a race. Oh, really? <laughs> there is no, no question. I did I think not see it. He made up about four or five spots before they ever came out of turn four. <laughs> <laughs> so Cleeter making claims. He said, hey, Bowman, I'm coming for you. He's still in the back of the pack. He's currently sitting 18th. So we've got we've got Tanner Faust in the uh, 34 car. Mm -hmm. He went behind the wall over oh, to the garage right. area. And we're on lap six. Remember, right now, caution laps are not counting. The Summit Racing Equipment Delivery Van has them really slowed down right now while they try to get things cleaned up here coming off turn four on the front straightaway. And we are hearing, I'm getting word from uh, Chelsea Denofa's wife, Chelsea. She says that Chelsea does not have nitrous does not have nitrous in that car. Okay. And Cletus told us some do, some don't. Exactly. So that one doesn't. All right. Looks like uh, Whistling Diesel, the 01's being pulled off. We'll see if he re-enters with another 01. And obviously, like you said, Tanner exit stage left. We are only six laps in of 100. You know what? I expected carnage prior to six laps to be to be completely I fair. didn't think they'd make it through turn one and two, but remember, <laughs> double file restarts, so yep. with Tanner Faust having his issue, that's going to put Alex Bowman in that 48 car on the outside of the front row, and look who's back there on the inside of the second row, Travis Pastrana in that 199. Looks like we're going to stop him here on the front stretch just for a second. Adam LZ re-entering. He looks like he, uh, he exited stage left as well, but he is back. Wonder what happened to him. Hey, what do you guys think, Freedom Factory? You loving this stuff or what? Hell yeah, brother. From the looks of one tire or one wheel being a different color, I would say he went and changed the tire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talking yeah. about Adam LZ. Yes, sir. Yeah, Adam, uh, just a, a really popular driver out here, a famous YouTuber. Just bought a huge facility here in Florida. Just uh, supposedly it's like 30 acres. And there are the uh, fresh nittos. On the back end there of Adam LZ's Crown Vic. Re-rack them, let's stack them. J.H. Diesel, you having fun, bud? Solid burnout there. You. All right. Track lights are turning on. The sun is setting. We are live, baby. Local time, 7.36. Six laps in. I'm, I'm bad at math. Uh, that is 90, 94. 94. 94. 94. Thank you, I, thank I'm you. from Alabama. I can even do that math. Come on, uh, Jerry. 10. 10. 10. <laughs> that's, that's what I can get to. You know, one thing about it, when the sun does go down and we get into, into more of darkness, we will be able to see those yellow lights on the deck lid, which indicates that the driver is into the nitrous oxide. But I just want to iterate, only 90 seconds worth of nitrous oxide. So do you use it early? I believe I'd want to save just a little bit. Yeah, save a little in the tank for those final 10 laps. I think you said that earlier is I think what the plot's really going to start to to thicken at those final 10 laps. <laughs> Looks like to me the plot thickened in the first 10 laps. <laughs> it thickened in qualifying. <laughs> I just can't get over uh, whistling diesel, man. So we got that John Deere. It's still back out there. We got our official down on the ground. The watermelon uh, salad is still out there on the skid pad. Um, I, I, I think... 
Cleeter will be sending Heavy D a bill for the grass damage. I mean, you don't you 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 got to respect a man's lawn. You know, you, it, 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 it it just pristine, and he just just caught the edge of it, just the edge of it. Yeah, uh, no, but then remember he went around, he went and took over the lead. He was a lap down, and he went across the grass. I don't know what's going what's going on with that man. He's throwing out chicken. He's trashing the grass. He's he's hopped up like a spider monkey. You know, we talked about Chelsea DeNova, that 88 car, mm -hmm. that, as we look at Cletus McFarlane, but Chelsea's original car that never took the green flag, that's one of the ones you and I were looking at today. You could tell it was an ex-Orlando police car. A lot of <laughs> yeah. these Crown Vicks are <laughs> right, right. one-time police cars. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to find where is, where is Chelsea at? Uh, he is in fourth right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, he should, he, he should be there, so I'm trying to – Trying to re-rack him, but Vice Grip Garage. Oh, and there is Whistling Diesel. He is back. Doesn't have the slick orange paint job now. But the 1776, so the 01 Whistling Diesel, he'll get re-racked into fourth. But like I said, I'm, I'm not seeing uh, I'm not seeing Chelsea up here on the, uh, on the restart. On our, on our score, yeah. 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 At 144. PFI speed Brent. Brent. So we already we're already two backup vehicles into the six. So now only four cars are backups to the original rides of these gladiators of Freedom 500 at the Freedom Factory, the house that Freedom built. Hey, if you guys haven't already checked it out, BaldEagle.com is officially. A website that Cletus bought, and he wanted to let Freedom ring, so he said, BaldEagle.com, that's mine. And it takes you right to the CletusMcFarland.com website. So tell your friends, BaldEagle.com, where you get all your Cleter goods. Isn't it amazing? Look at all the merch that, that Cletus has got, his whole family. He's, this guy's got his Freedom Factory lifeguard hat. Looks good, bro. Thanks for coming out. The line for the merchandise trailer yep. was about four times longer than the line for the beers. <laughs> right, exactly. They just uh, should have had a bundle there. But uh, uh, I saw, saw Cletus's mom and dad, his, his brother out here. It is, it is truly a family affair here at Freedom Factory, and I'm sure Cletus welcomes everybody, and he said it. He welcomes everybody like family. Spence, what do you, what do you got there, buddy? I see that smirk. Dude, I'm just up here on the fence looking at all these fans losing their cool. This guy with the biggest belt buckle in the game. Yeah. Who's having a good time here? Now, at, at drift night, y'all were, like, throwing me beers and hot dogs and stuff, and I'm hungry, and I'm looking around. Oh, there we go. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> no, you guys are great. Who's having a good time? All right, hey guys, what do you guys think of the race so the far long, with these guys up front? This is Cleeter at the car. Excuse the long caution. We got some people who don't know how to keep track of what position they're in. So we're getting it resorted, dude. This is the Freedom 500. You gotta do what you gotta do. So hang tight. Cleeter, Heavy D trashed your grass, and he just absolutely threw a wrench in the system. Is he gonna get penalized, or do you support it? Dude, I don't know. I think he should have to shave an inch off his beard. Oof, that Oof. is harsh, harsh punishment. Oh, there we go, 1776, that vice grip garage, Tanner Faust in second, Bowman in third, and look at Pastrana pass the 3113 of Randy Prost. He took it up there on the high side through turn one and two, and he's still running about the middle of the racetrack, and he is making some hay up there, talking about Pastrana. That tail whip of the side-by-side uh, -side blog, the pink car, that tail whip is flapping, and Cleeter's got the light on, he is crawling through the course. I don't think Cleeter is 100%. Vice Grip Garage in that 1776, he got very high off turn two, had to jump out of the throttle, let, let Tanner Faust, as Tanner oh, looks like he's Tanner's gonna drive up on the top side, going through one and two, maybe a little bit of a crossover oh, move Oh, look here. at this. Vice Grip goes high, Tanner goes low, and Cletus pulls off. The Willy Wonka of this chocolate factory, AKA the Freedom Factory, pulls off in his own race. Oh, we got a spin. Oh, no. <laughs> But we, they won't throw a caution. He can get it. He, we're not going to throw a caution. He's okay. But guess what? He is throwing up a road. Oh, we are seeing a caution. We are seeing a caution. All right. 
I don't think we should have thrown a call. I don't think so That's either. one of those we got to swallow the whistle, guys. Come on. All right. So Tanner Faust gets the lead in that 34 car in a backup car, I might add. Yeah. Cletus McFarlane, 99. He's back out on the racetrack. Not sure what he – he wasn't in there long enough to actually change a tire. Uh, look at this. I'm getting messages from my buddy. My buddy's watching at home on his home theater. He's watching the, the Freedom 500 right now. What's up, Bert and Neil? It's a pretty good setup. It's a golf simulator as well. So uh, got, got all the family and friends at home watching. You got, you got family watching this? I do. Good. I do. Absolutely. Good, Absolutely. Good. Hey, Spence, who won the hot dog eating competition? Is that even a question? Yes. I won the hot dog eating competition. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, of course you did. I'll race another person. Oh, well, wow. Now you're There's just... not enough hot dogs on property. Okay. All the hot dogs. <laughs> All the hot dogs. Spence, we're going to change you to, to, to hot dog, Spencer. And, and I got a cold one. What? Oh. I know. TFTI, Lucky bro. <laughs> TFTI. No, Jared, I think we caught J.H. Hildebrand, the driver of our Summit Racing Equipment Delivery Van. I think we caught him off guard. He didn't even go out there that time. He just, <laughs> <laughs> he just stayed in the infield. He's like, you know what? You guys are crazy, man. Dude, you got a dart in your neck. You're crazy, bro. Crazy, Let's bro. try this again. Nine of a hundred. <laughs> All right, watch, rinse, repeat. Here we go. Back in summer racing. Freedom 500. Set it. There we go. Oh, I saw the uh, 1776. The orange light went on the little nitrous spray from the Vice Grip Garage. It's not a bad time to do it. Coming down no. the front straightaway on a restart. And in the interim, the 07 Taylor Ray, he has pulled his Crown Vic into the infield. Bowman is very smooth. Look at him just drop in, riding side saddle with Tanner. Tanner taking the higher line, drops into formation there as Bowman in third. Travis sneakily sneaking around the backside. Speaking of sneaking, 411, Ryan Turk and that Toyota Camry. He just moved into the sixth position, just taking it easy, yep. riding his time, trying to stay out of trouble. He's got his headlights on. And, oh, look at Blake Wilkie throws on the, uh, the interceptor, the cop light. Ooh, Tanner's getting into the side of Vice Grip, but no, he bounces back, no problem. Got the caution. We've got the 187, Sean Oh, Murdenova. no, Vice Grip dropping back quite a bit. Oh, we got caution. Yeah, he's, oh. he's, he, was, he was stalled down there on the apron in turn four and couldn't seem to get going. Oh, isn't it amazing how he gets going now after uh, the caution comes out? I very, see how this works. <laughs> very convenient. So Taylor Ray pulls into the middle of the skid pad, and now, oh, guess what? Cletus, he is in the pit. Look at what we're, we're seeing Cletus in the pits. Hopefully, oh no, Taylor is having mechanical issues. That's the uh, gold member, the 07. Yeah, this could be terminal for Taylor. There you see him just sitting there on the skid pad in the infield. So looks like his night may be done as we're getting a one to go from the starter to go back racing 11 laps down of 100 here in the Freedom 500. Oh, man, so, so good. Micah, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. All right, so uh, re-racked him and stacked him. Lap 11 of 100, Taylor Ray. Looks like he's going to try to make it over to the pits when the field passes by. But again, no sign of Cletus, number 99. How about Randy Popes in that in that yep. in that uh, thirty-one thirteen car? He made his way up there inside the top five. First time on an oval and on asphalt. <laughs> Look at this, Murder Nova diving on the inside, trying to. Oh man, he is going for broke right now. Again, that eight oh one of Heavy D getting into it with Murder Nova. We got some clean racing out front. Haley Deegan dropping back quite a bit. Blake Wilkie three fifty seven. Oh, man. I'm feeling another tussle coming on about mid-pack here, Larry. Yeah, Vice Grip Garage, he keeps running low, and Tanner Faust keeps trying up on the high side as you see him going down the back straightaway right then. Yeah, Vice Grip Garage even runs the bottom down the back straightaway just trying. If, if Tanner Faust is going to go around him, he said, you're going to have to go around me on the high side, although he opened the door that time and right. three and four on the bottom. Lucky 13 laps in of 100. Plenty still to go. Oh, we got a flat tire on the 801. 
That's heavy D, so he's going to go over and get a tire changed. Oh, we got it. Oh, Tanner oh, Fast gets wow. it. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. that. That is a race maneuver. Oh, he goes into the tire. He but, almost saved it. Oh. Almost saved it. Oh, look at this. Bowman gets into the side of the 3113. That's Randy. Randy Popst. Oh, Vice Grip, who was a real contender for the lead. Him and Tanner get into a tussle. Had a little chat with Randy Pope today. Just w w what a prince of a guy. He's been track testing for Motor Trend Magazine yep. for 12 years. Oh, Any yeah. articles you see where something's been tested, Randy Pope's in that 31-13. He's the guy that probably tested it. That's right, the flying moose. And the moose is loose. He's currently contending there for the lead, but Tanner Faust doesn't have the target literally on his back, but he now does have the lead. He's got the clean. Oh, look at that. The far side of the track. Chelsea DeNova in that 88 car. Oh, he he, he moved into fifth and then and just it hits the wall coming up off turn two. Just I think the confidence level exceeded the grip level. <laughs> right. Right. So, yeah, the, uh, the 88 there pulling off. Chelsea DeNova. Got the black flag for the 801 right now, uh, Heavy D. That's not what you want to see, but Heavy D, he's uh, he's been he's been playing villain, I got to say, out here. But he, he may not be done line. yet. <laughs> right, I know. Just given that there are no rules, the rules are there are no rules, and some cautions will happen, but looks like Heavy D pulls off. So, And Chelsea DeNova in the 88, you're talking about a man on a mission. He just drove back on the racetrack over in turn three right in front of the leaders. Oh, man, yeah, there he is. He's back on it. So Tanner Faust still out front. And there you see Vice Grip Garage back in 13th, who was in second. Oh, we got some drifting going down. Uh, guess who? Chelsea DeNova. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DeNova, DeNova definitely gets down, man. And Blake Wilkie shining his light there. So Tanner out front, Randy Popes in second, Bowman quite a bit of distance from him, but Chelsea, so you got even though he's currently sitting in third, he's I believe a lap down. You are correct. You are correct. Yeah, because right now Alex Bowman running fourth on the racetrack in that 48. He's actually third. And you see the little red 411 coming in the picture. Ryan Turk and that Toyota Camry. He is up into the fourth position right now. So Tanner, Randy, look at Ryan Turk in that Camry and still no Cletus. Where's he at? Oh, what a bummer. He's watching from the sideline with Whistling Diesel and Taylor Ray. He's not here either. Here comes Vice Grip. Oh, my goodness. Lap 22 of 100. <laughs> Ryan Turk is the only one with headlights so <laughs> in that Toyota Camry. Oh, we got another caution out there in turn four up on the bank. <laughs> that, is, that is comical. <laughs> All right. That definitely was the longest green flag run that we have had so far. Right. Good, good, probably oh, we got, 12 we got, or 13 laps. Where there's smoke, there's potentially fire. We're seeing a lot of smoke coming out of that. Who is that again? That's uh, the 194? I can't, I can't read the numbers from over there, but look at this. I we think, is it 144? Is that oh, yeah, Brent PFI it. Speed? And that's I think right. that, that's that's the backup car that he went to. That is right. So 22 laps in, you are correct. 144, there it is, Brent PFI Speed. See, there it is, the Tampa Police. And by my calculations, in fact, you know, they're not necessarily the way they're running, but the top four cars behind the, the Summit Racing Equipment Delivery Van, they're all backup cars. So yeah. I, we may be, we may have depleted that inventory. Yeah, I think it's going to be done. And I'm uh, I'm really, uh, you know, beside myself that Cletus isn't in. Again, Whistling Diesel, he took himself out. And uh, and do we have James out here? So we got 34 out front. That's Tanner. We got the 07. So Taylor Ray. That's him now. So he took another backup car. That was, yeah, that was the gold yeah. number. So he jumped in the a backup car. Yeah, there's 15 of the 20 drivers that started out on the racetrack right now. A couple more just came out. So I think that puts us about 17 that's <laughs> out there now. 
All right, so uh, lap 22 of 100. We're going to hear a short message from our sponsor, the Summit Racing Equipment Freedom 500. I'm Cherry. I draw an S for spicy in the air. Look at the flick of the wrist. Look, Look at the, the flick, flick of the, the wrist. wrist. Uh. Look at the flick of the wrist. Hot dog Spence. Now, Spence, they'll tell you okay. drop the flag, but don't literally drop the flag. No. Don't just wave the flag. Don't drop the flag. So, so we're almost a quarter way through this thing. Lap 22 on the board right now. <laughs> 78 laps to go. There we are with Travis. What's going through his head right now? He is saying these people have lost their mind out here on this racetrack. And so have I. Travis, we're ride shocking with you. If you can hear us, Travis. Okay. Tightening up the straps, making sure he's all good. The GoPro on the dash. All right. Randy Popes, he keeps tempo there with Tanner Faust. They're going to be side by side at the wave of the green flag. Yep. So he's saying one flag Yo, here. They're getting pretty spicy under caution. They're just flooring it through. It's like, I mean, I'm still holding this thing. Did I do something? Yeah. Okay. All right. All here right. You go, guys Spence. ready? You going to help me? All right. I Don't. got this. Don't drop it, Spence. I'm more nervous than the national anthem, dude. Yeah. I'm shaking. I think I'm going to throw up. Don't throw up. Don't throw up, Spence. Don't throw up on the cars. Something else going on with Vice Grip oh, Garage. Yeah, he just baby. went back to the garage here. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Hadouken. Oh, we're three Woo! wide. Three wide into turn one. Spence, phenomenal job. Chelsea DeNova. He, yep. he, he does not know what stay in line on a restart means. He no. had him three wide over turn four. Trying to go up there and pass the leader, Tanner Faust. Oh, look at that. Three wide behind Randy Popst. And Tanner still gets that clean air. Trying to be challenged by Chelsea Denofa. I would say most of the drivers up front are going, who the hell is that back there with the headlights on? <laughs> I know. The, the, the Camry headlights is, is definitely a crack up. I think he's got that thing on cruise control. Again, front wheel drive versus rear wheel drive. Oh, look at this. Three wide. Got the 801, Murder Nova, seen smoke being kicked up here. Bumper to bumper, Adam LZ and Randy Popst. All right, so Tanner. Yeah, there are quite a few. Larry, what are you finding out Well, here? Chelsea DeNova in the 88 car running second behind Tanner Faust. He is a lap down. So Randy Pope's actually in the 31-13. Uh, He's running in second place right now. Yep, yep. So just to clarify that, he's essentially a lapper right now. That, so uh, He's a lapper that's a pain in the butt to Randy Pope's <laughs> right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> man has done a lot in yep. motorsports so he's had a lot of injuries but it, there's not much he's not a lot like Tanner Faust there's not much under the sun or moon that he's not done right but he hasn't won a freedom 500 we'll see if he adds that to his resume we are officially more than a quarter way through lap 28 of 100 we're getting some clean racing here Larry everybody's kind of settled their nerves the vehicles we'll see if they can hold it together 29 laps in all right, we're starting to see some separation here. We're not seeing tight, too tight back there. Murder Nova and Blake Wilkie going at 357 to 187. Yeah, we've never had a long enough green flag run where the leader would get into the lap cars. If we can run another 10, 15 laps, we may get there, but that might be a stretch. So Tanner still out front. Randy Popst. Oh, look at Chelsea coming in on the inside. I wonder if he even knows he's a lap down. Adam LZ quietly here, working his way from the back of the pack. He currently sits in third. 
Oh, but just as I say that, you said somebody was quiet. The number 11 side-by-side -side blog, the pink with the tail whip, slides up past LZ. Looks like LZ almost out of power. And Ryan Turk trying to take advantage of it. Well, or for, is Travis Pastrana, rather, in that yep. he's going he's gonna to go by all of them. Oh, Three oh man. I don't know how in the world they made it through there. <laughs> Somehow, some way. It was almost like synchronized spinning. <laughs> like they helped each other. It's trust fall. Trust me. Oh. All right, LZ and side-by-side -side blog, door-to-door. -door. That's, a, that's a fight for fourth. Just outside a podium spot, right? But that's it. The winner circles, all that matters. One, one vehicle to rule them all. Will it be a Crown Vic, or is the Toyota Camry going to play spoiler? Tanner Faust still out front. You see Taylor Ray. He, he, he's what we call in Alabama, he's a, a one-eyed Joe. He has one headlight that's burning in an <laughs> 07 car. Oh, look at this. Adam and side-by-side -side blog going wheel to wheel. This is a battle for the fourth position. Actually, right. Taylor Ray is one or more laps down right behind them. That is right. Yeah, Taylor Ray back there quite a bit. Really fixated on the bright colored vehicles here. And while you're watching this battle, Tanner Faust in that 34 car, he has kind of stretched it out just a little bit, probably about a half a straightaway oh, out yeah. front. Oh, fans, some, something's erupting out here on, on track. I think it's this battle back there for yep. about third or fourth. Alex Bowman in that 48 car really starting Oh, to we fade. got a hood up. Oh, Taylor Ray with the hood. You're definitely gonna, not going to make it far with the hood up like that. And he is all in the man's grass. Yeah, right. Landscaping service courtesy of Taylor Ray. Looks like he's trying to find a gap to go across and go out the racetrack over in turn three, but we're kind of like a conveyor belt right now of race cars. They're all around this three-eighths-mile yep. track. Yep. So Tanner Fowl still out front. All right, where's, where's Taylor going? I think he's going to pull over here, get some help from the uh, fire safety. Put that hood back down. Ah, you know, that'll buff out. I think that's fine. And they, these these cars, they don't have hood pins. They've got no. just a regular stock hood latch, like on your your own passenger car. Right. <laughs> Look at this. we got J.H. sitting on the hood trying to flatten that thing out. And unfortunately, I don't think it's going to relatch, and then it's just going to fly up again. So they might just pop off the hood. Yeah, if they, if they don't get it fastened back, it's, it's just going to be a repeat of what we just saw. Bowman was, was really strong here. Now it's the battle for fifth as Bowman tries to flex on Sue here. The lights are on. Not seeing, you know, now that we're closing in on the halfway mm -hmm. point, Jared, I'm not seeing a lot of yellow lights on the deck we had right now. I think no. to our point earlier, a lot of them, let's, let's save a little bit here. But Alex Bowman, he just keeps working all over of that 11 car side-by-side -side block. Hey, Spence, what's up, man? How's, how's the vibe down there? The vibe down here is lit up on the racetrack. Who's having a good time? Yeah, dude, these people are having a good time, man. It's going great. There's some spike. Oh, it looks like they got that hood relashed down in center field. Taylor Ray relatching the hood. Spence crushing hot dogs. Getting, <laughs> and, the, getting the and fans beers. hype. But we got some good racing, man. It seems like everybody finally calmed down. How about our man, Cletus McFarland? He is uh, back out there in oh, a yes. backup car, and he is making some noise, a number of laps down, but he's all over our third, fourth, and fifth place drivers right, right there now. He is the, the white 99. 99. Yep. There yep. you see him. Guys, Travis Pastrana in the 199 coming down the finish line stretch right here has worked his way up to third place. Let's leave it for Travis Pastrana. Hey, Spence. That's some seeing, driving right there, baby. I'm seeing the lone Camry, the last Starfighter, Ryan Turk pulling off Larry. Oh, unfortunate. It liked to have been big over there as he was slowing down to make that right-hand turn at the end of the back straight because they were coming at him about three wide behind him. Yep. Oh, man, this is making some history here at the iconic Freedom Factory. So Tanner Faust almost coming on on the back of the pack, which is Blake Wilkie. But again, if you if you take a look, Tanner Faust has the lead. Randy Pope's in second. Oh, we got Cletus oh. McFarland. Oh, Cletus gets spun into the wall. 
Yeah, Nick Seuss, side-by-side block, gets into Cletus McFarland, and that will bring the caution out here at lap 45, just five laps shy of halfway. I could almost hear Cletus saying, not hell yeah, brother, but hell no, nah, brother. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, you guys know the rule. That is Cletus's second car. Yep. That means we've probably seen as much as we're going to see of the – uh, previous Freedom 500 champion, he might be out. It looks like he's getting an inspection right at the entrance right there. Alex Bowman pulling off as well. He was a big lead race contender. So, Jared, who do we have? What's the first, second, third place breakdown right now? Right now, Tanner Faust leads the pack. Randy Popst in second. And Travis Pastrana currently sits in third. That's crazy because Tanner Faust has never raced on oval track ever. And that's what he was telling me tonight. He's like, I don't know how I did in qualifying. And then he was like, dude, you did third place in qualifying. Mm -hmm. Spence, actually, that's the case for our top three right now. Yeah. Tanner Faust, Randy Popes, and Travis Pastrana. Well, Travis Pastrana raced two years in Cup Series. Well, that's so true. That's true. Yeah. He did He did, He did. did have the Xfinity Series and the Truck Series. So yeah. you are right on that. Under his own assessment, though, he goes, I was no good. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what he told me today. Yeah. <laughs> But he's really putting on a show for the fans tonight. What do you guys think? I want to give a big shout out. I think Jared might have done it already for any of you prior military, any service members, and then our EMT and fire safety squad. These people have done so much for us. Thank you, everybody. Round of applause for these people that have served for our country. The best country in the world. We also got a few people tonight requesting some shout outs for some anniversaries here celebrating honeymoons. So if you made a Cletus and Cars event a special occasion for yourself, give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. I've never seen this place so full, so alive with energy. This entire crowd hasn't sat down for more than two or three laps. You guys are nuts. It's a caution and you guys are like, nah, we're gonna stand. <laughs> Dude, I need to find somebody's swag that's more spicy than this guy's belt buckle right here. He's got his hat on and everything. This is ridiculous. I'm going to go check in with my folks from Sweden, see how they're doing. I'll be right back. I think they ran out to, uh, to Ikea to get some meatballs. <laughs> uh, Blake Wilk, you a little sideshow. Must be getting bored back there right? right now. So, yeah, just a little bit of fun on the skid pad here at Freedom Factory. With that caution, it bunches them up. And look at that. Chelsea and, uh, and Cletus are getting into it just, uh, just on this re-rack. And look at that. They put Chelsea Nofa back to his position in the back of the pack. So he's, he's not, uh, he's not uh, you know, throwing, throwing a log jam in there. So there they are. Lineup is good. I believe we're official. And yet the white flag is out. So one lap next time they come through, we're racing. Hey. Almost halfway there, lap 45 of 100. Summit Racing Equipment, Freedom 500. I tell you, Tanner Faust in that 34 car, a backup car, I might add, uh, got into that wreck, what, lap one or two. Yep. But he has been the class of the field for these last few restarts. And just really that last time, a fairly long green flag run just drove away. Remember what I said? I said, I called Tanner. You did. Uh, Tanner, I'll Tanner, give you that. Tanner was my I pick. I will give you that. I will give you that. Let's let's keep an eye on that car right behind him, that 199 of yeah. Travis Pastrana. He's keeping it clean. I'm really surprised. I mean, Bowman was a real contender there for a while, and now he's not even on the track. So I wonder if his vehicle uh, caught a cold and not running right. But still seeing Cletus out there. It's good to see him. It looks like getting pace, and green flag is going. Randy Popes in the 31-13, a yep. good run, kept tempo, but drifts a little high. Tanner Faust in the 34, just going to pull away on the bottom, down the back straightaway. Got a great overhead view there. Tanner getting the clean air, getting challenged by Randy on that back left corner. Does not spin him. Couple cars wide, out of turn four. Adam LZ in that 0-5 car. He's starting to come to life. He's moved up there into the fourth place. Murder Nova getting loose out of turn two. Haley Deegan in the black 62. She's moved into the top five. She's been kind of quiet back there. Again, she got she got the uh, Rambo. The Her tiny little dog weighs about a pound soaking wet. Her spirit animal for this event. I think she's just finally overcoming what they did to her qualifying. <laughs> right? Dude, Murder Nova is just absolutely... Coming in, kicking a hold of the speaker. Oh, we got spinning out, 435. 
Diesel Dave. Diesel Dave. But he continues to go, yep. and we stay green as we are about two laps shy of halfway of the Freedom 500. Oh, Diesel Dave exiting. Oh, look at Murder Nova. Again, that turn two has just been nothing but a problem for him. Which ends up being problems for everybody over there when he gets in trouble. All right, coming to the halfway point with the completion of this lap. Tanner Faust, Randy Popst. And here we go. There's the signal halfway through. Faust, Popst. Oh, we got an accident there on the back. That's Chelsea Denofa getting into it. Caution flag and with waves that, as we cross the halfway point of this race. Yep. That may be the end of Chelsea Denova. I see parks laying everywhere over there oh, on the back man. straightaway. Yard sale, barely used. Crown Vic, it's going on eBay tomorrow. Barely used. Hey, I'm Jaron. Yes, sir. It looks like Chelsea came up a couple sandwiches short of a picnic on that one. Oof, yep. Yep, yard sale. Yikes. I'm going to give it out to that guy in that quad. That guy's pretty sporty. He's ripping across there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's hot boy. Oh, speaking of hot boy, look at Chelsea. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was a wall tap. Oh, boy. He's st strolling part still as he leaves the racetrack. They're scattered all over the back straightaway. Front bumpers, braces, brackets. Did not see Ryan Turk re-enter in his Toyota Camry, the 411. Oh, there's a replay of that accident. So, Murder Nova, like I said, he was just getting super loose on turn two every single lap. So, Murder Nova and Chelsea get into it. So look at this. I mean, Whistling Diesel, we saw he was the first car to retire. James, we haven't not seen James forever. So James out, Vice Grip Garage, Brent at PFI Speed, Taylor Ray, Ryan Turk is out, Heavy D, Bowman, haven't seen him, Cletus, Diesel Dave, Chelsea Nova, Sean's just going from the bottom to the top, but still it is a Tanner Faust show. He's probably led the most laps out of any racer so far. Yeah, if my numbers are right, we are down to about – 12 cars left on the racetrack with 50 laps to go is actually Diesel Dave 435. He just came out of the paddock area back out on the racetrack. All right. Well, we're going to re-rack them here. A short message from our sponsor. way through this 100 lap race that means we are 50 laps in with Tanner Faust leading the most laps we are hearing that unfortunately Murder Nova is out so the 187 has to retire and like you said Larry 12 cars again I'm, I'm not good at math but I, I can't count that's that's what I am I am counting out there right now and I'm, I'm just Cletus is back out there just having fun again hey <laughs> give it up for Cletus on the burnout bed boy on the show he's back in the race he, I think he's a couple laps down, but that don't matter. <laughs> hey, man, the way this racing's going there. Uh, oh, what is this? So 194 jumped in Bowman's car? That's how, does, how does that work? <laughs> yeah, that is. I think that's 144. 144. Uh, Brent PFI speed because they crossed out the 48 number and put 144 on it. <laughs> you see Murder Nova talking down to the track workers. He's having fun. Make some noise for Sean Murder Nova. Good stuff, bud. Spence, who did, did you, I can't remember, did you call, who, who was your money on? Uh, Tanner Faust, believe it or not. No. I'm not kidding. You Some lie. Guy recorded on his you don't GoPro have to lie to here. kick it there, hot dog fact destroyer. Check. Can we get the fact checkers? Yep, Tanner Faust, that's what they said. I'm good. Okay, all right, cool. I, I don't believe you. I mean, hey, I believe how, you. Hey, you will knock it off, bud. I'll, don't make me come up there. Go ahead, bro. Bring me some beer. <laughs> Cleeter just yeah, going, going ham. Yeah, just, he does a he burn out every caution lap. Cleeter, drift, drift the inside oval. Drift the inside oval. Yeah, now he's just sideshowing, man. 
Because <laughs> right now it's, I mean, it's you're seeing that the top four there. Adam LZ in fourth, Haley Deegan quietly sitting back there in fifth. But the as it as it goes right now, Tanner Faust leads, Randy Pope second, Pastrana third, Adam LZ fourth, and rounding out top five, Haley Deegan. I think the only way they're going to beat Tanner Faust in that 34 car, they're going to have to make something happen on one of these restarts because yeah. once he clears them in turns one and two, he just drives away from them every single time. He, you know, I learned a lot about Tanner Faust this week, knowing that we were going to come here and do the broadcast. Make some noise, Among people. all his other things that he's doing, he's a movie and film stunt yeah. driver. Jared, correct yes. me if I'm wrong, but are we at the halfway point of the second Freedom 500? We are officially at the halfway point, my friend. Lap number 50. Oh, he's got a tire wobble. That back left tire looks oh, sorry. Boy. Oh, oh, she's ouch. Yeah, she's not yeah. Happy. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the left rear tire is short lived. Its yeah. lifespan is short. Oh man, is that a one wheeler peeler there? Well, I think the Summit Racing Equipment Delivery Van has pulled off. We're going to go back racing That's here, right. Jared. That's right. All right, Tanner, Popes, Pastrana, LZ, and Haley Deegan. What do we got? We got a door open. Cletus pulls out. Haley right. Deegan in that 62, she made it three wide, and she's trying to take third away. Oh, man. And she's going to do it running oh. third now. Look at Travis falling back. Oh, and he goes, oh, Travis hard into the wall. Oh, no. Keeps going. Dude, look like Blake look, Wilkie oh, look, look, got into it. We're, we're still going. Oh, look at this. Side-by-side -side blog and Pastrana both pulling off. That's an unfortunate way to leave the race. Coming oh. from third place, getting crashed out. We got some debris there on that back stretch now. We've got quite a battle back there for, yeah. for third between Haley Deegan in that 62 and Adam LZ in that 05. <laughs> All right. Look at that single file. Oh, what? By independent by himself, the 801 Heavy D. All right. Single file line. Whistle while you work. Making their way. Lap 52 of 100. More than halfway through this race. Look at Adam LZ getting in the back of Randy. Adam LZ in that 0-5, he seemed to be pretty good on the long run. He keeps trying to make the bottom work. He keeps trying to make the top work. But in the meanwhile, he's got his hands full of Haley Deegan in the 62. Yeah, Haley, Haley oh, just as you say that, look at that Haley gets loose. She saved it, though. Yeah, that could have been a lot worse. But look at that. Heavy D gained some ground on her. Nice job by Tanner. Randy Popes throwing up a block in front of LZ. Yeah, Adam LZ is faster than Popes right now. He just can't quite find a way around him. Now, you do see the 07 car there behind them, Taylor Ray. He is down yeah. some laps. Yeah, he is not running in fourth position. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe he's... Yeah, he's, he's back there quite a bit. It says uh, that Taylor Ray's in 16th. That's incorrect because Ryan Turk is retired. But... Uh, here we go with Tanner continuing. You can see the lap counter, 56 of 100. There's in car with Travis. Is he re-entering? Or is it? Yeah. He's look coming back. Oh, look at this. Travis Pastrana is re-entering the Coliseum here. That is Freedom Factory. Make some noise for 199, Travis Pastrana. Pulling on those belts, making sure they're good and tight. <laughs> right. Took a lick and keeps on ticking. Way to go, TP. And it is an all Tanner Faust show right now. As Pope second, LZ in third, Taylor Ray. Again, he is a he's he's a bit of a lapper here. Yeah, right now behind Haley Deegan in the 62, who's running fourth, we're show, showing Kevin KSR in the 78 car. He is still on the lead lap back there in fifth. He is about close to a half lap down behind our leader Tanner Faust. Oh, look at this, Taylor Ray and Adam. Ooh, look at <laughs> That's not a love tap, that's a hate tap. He says, stop, man, I'm a lead lap car, leave me alone. Yeah, get out of my way. 60 laps into this 100 lap race, 40 more to go. This, this, 
This Ooh. Taylor Ray and Adam LZ, it, it's going to go bad here any second. Oh, and, man. See, Travis Pastrana, even though he's some laps down, he wants to get up there and have some part of the fun, that 199. Yep, shots fired, shooting across the nose of that Crown Vic. And, and yeah, I, I mean, Taylor's like, I want to play too. As Haley Deegan gets uh, gets blocked by Taylor Ray. Yeah, she wants to take advantage of maybe that door that Taylor Ray and that 07 is going to open for her. She pulls to the bottom of Adam LZ. Let's see if she can complete the pass. He's 15 laps down. Yeah, Taylor Ray is 15 laps down. Haley Deegan continues to make that bottom work. Yep. She, she gets the third spot away. There it is. She slides in. If she could keep it consistent, keep it clean, she could find herself out front. And look at LZ. He rises up. So, uh, so look at this. Tanner Faust gets tussled up with, uh, with a variety of drivers. But look at the space between Tanner and second place, Randy Popes. I mean, that's huge. Yeah, Randy oh. Popes is right there on Tanner Faust now, just about a half a car length back. Yep, in the 435, Diesel Daves looks like he exits out. You know, Popes had faded, but now he's all over the back of that 34 car of Tanner Faust as we're closing in on 35 laps to go. And even though the side-by-side -side blog, the pink – Crown Vic out there currently sits behind Randy Popes. He's all the way back in 10th because he is laps down. I just want to know what the flagpole's made out of. I'd have never believe it would have survived oh, this the, kind of treatment. The, the tail whip? On yeah. It? Yeah. <laughs> well, because they're because si they do side by sides. That's what you find like uh, on on your UTV out in the desert, so you can see it. So it's a it's a whip. Well, he's trying to go up there and make a difference with these two leaders. He closes right in on the back of them. That's right. Okay, the 801, which Heavy D, that car has seen a lot of battle damage, but it continues on as he exits out. I tell you, Taylor Ray, even though he is a number of laps down in that 07, he's as fast as any car out there right, right. now. He's just about caught the sleep pack. Well, Tanner Faust, for his first ever time racing oval, racing, on the, racing here at Freedom, he is delivering. He is absolutely delivering. Like you said, a very talented driver, two-time Formula Drift champion, Red Bull Global Rallycross, Rallycross champion, uh, just a very experienced driver. Look Dude, at this. hell yeah to Chelsea to open the 88, putting on a show. Look at him drifting. Oh, Chelsea having some fun out here, showboating. All right, let's see if Chelsea in the 88 on the opposite side. I think he's going to drift this whole turn. Come on. Oh. No, nope, he sticks sticks to uh, sticks to the standard line. Yeah, Spence, he's got the leaders right behind him. Lap 69 of 100, dude. Oh, look at Chelsea rises up, lets those lets the the serious competitors here, Tanner and Popst, Haley Deegan. You can see her back there quite a bit. She's still in third, and Kevin KSR, who's in fourth, haven't spoken much about him. Yeah, he got by Adam LZ in that 05 car to take that fourth spot away. But there, that's exactly what I was talking about. Yep. Taylor Ray in that 07, he's all over. In fact, he's, it looks like he's going to drive by these two Jeez. that's up there leading the race. Oh, what do we got here? Seeing the fans erupt with excitement. We have the race leaders going on turn two right now, coming into some lap traffic. We got Popes on the inside oh. for first place. We got Randy Popes just took the first place lead over Tanner Faust. Randy Popes takes the lead. Taylor Ray, not a contender, but still dicing oh it up. Oh, my. And I believe Tanner Faust. Tanner Faust has oh got a no. flat right front tire. Oh Tanner no. Faust has got a flat tire. So uh. now Haley Deegan in the 62, she's going to take that second spot away. Oh, what a bummer for Tanner Faust. His equipment fails him, and he has to pull off. Oh, what a bummer for Tanner. We talked about it at the top of the show, Jared, yep. that flat tires was going to be a difference maker. We saw it in the 2.4 hour of LaMullets back oh. in November. Well, baked fresh daily, and there oh, goes no. Tanner Faust lighting him up. No, he's, he's just doing a fun burnout. Jared, Make some take noise a look. for Tanner Faust. You got Tanner Faust, he's smoking in the infield with that flat tire. Let's hope he can get a quick tire change. 
Look at Chelsea. There you go. Stepping it out sideways in that 88. We've got 25 laps to go here in the Freedom 500. Ken Haley Deegan in that 62 car run our leader down. Randy Pope's in the 31-13. We are officially three quarters of the race completed. 75 laps of 100, now 76 with Randy Pope's. With that lead in Chelsea, sending it sideways. Oh my God, Chelsea DeNova putting on a show for the fans. Look at that, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh my God, <laughs> he's just having a big old time. Isn't he? Now, Randy Pope's is okay with Chelsea putting on a show. Just, oh, I'm sure he's saying, don't oh, bring baby, a caution Chelsea's out. Chelsea's drifting the whole turn in a stock crown back. You. Wow. Look at that, Manji down the straight initiating. Oh, he's rubbing the wall. Yes. Chelsea now doing it for the fans, getting hyped. What do you guys say? Make some noise. Low, look at we got sparks at that back right corner there. Dude, Chelsea DeNova with drifting every turn. He's going to run out of tires here soon. But look at him flick into the turn. Oh, we got two, look two at people sparks. drifting the turns. Oh, my God. Look at the flick of the Vic. And look at the leader right there coming up on him. Oh, Chelsea he says exit stage left. Uh-oh. Oh, what do we got here? Look at the entrance, folks. I what? see Whistling Diesel's car what? ready to come back into the race. Who wants to see Whistling Diesel wreck some carnage? <laughs> there he is. He's back, baby. The 01 Whistling Diesel re-enters the conversation as Chelsea drifts past him, Larry. Look at him. Look at this. Who is he looking for? <laughs> oh, man. Well, I, I think it was, uh, was it Diesel Dave that took um, him out or Heavy D? I can't remember which one it was. Tanner Faust in the 34. Of course, several laps down, he has made his way back out on the racetrack as we're closing in on 19 laps to go. Wow, Randy Pope's still out front, whistling Diesel. Ah, he came back in, but he is crawling out of turn two. Hey, Jared. Yes, sir. Spence, what's up? All right, Spence, are you eating another hot dog, bro? I, I, I can't hear you. And here we go. So, Oh, we got Whistling Diesel stuck up on the wall on the far side uh, under caution. I thought it, I think there it, it is too, Spence. I thought it was going to last longer than it did, but she did not last. The caution is out. That is not what our leader, Randy Popes, wanted to see. No. With 18 laps to go, that's going to put Haley Deegan up there with one more shot in his 62 car. All right, we got the Summit delivery van. The lights are on. Is he using nitrous as well? Is that, is that what's going on? He's decided a few times, I'm just not going to go out there. Just let them lead themselves around right, here. Right, right, right. I don't know why PFI Speed is driving Bowman's car. Why, why, why isn't Bowman just driving his car? Listen, Jared, it's the Freedom 500. We don't really know much about the rules here. All we know is that people came to watch You have the freedom show. to do whatever you want, right? There you go. Absolutely. Yep. That makes sense. And these boys are putting on a hell of a show. How's Haley Deegan doing? Our Yo. only female driver still out there keeping it cool. Give it up for Haley freaking Deegan. That's what's up. That's where the fans are. Now, what one thing they're in, going boys? to do under this caution, Spence, is yeah. we, they, we've been told they're going to work very hard to get all the lead lap cars to the front. Anybody that's one or more laps down, behind everybody else. Copy. On my leaderboard here, I think I have Randy Popst in first. Hey. Then we have Haley Deegan hey, in second. Spencer. Hey, what? Guess who's back, brother? Hey! hey. is back! <laughs> Eminem? Guess Yo, who's back. can I get a hell yeah, brother? I'm back, baby. Yes, sir. Sliding back into the DM yes, for 99. Back, 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 back again, again, again. Cletus, back, back, back. Tell your friends. We got Tanner Faust. Oh, my oh, God. Doing donuts around a parked car out there. Well, that's but Travis Pastrana. The number 34 of Tanner Faust. Cletus is getting in on some action. Oh, oh that's my a Travis Pastrana filled donut. That's some good, clean family fun there, eh, Cot? Hell yeah. And there goes TP. 
He's firing it up. Holy sh The fans crazy, are dude. squealing. Yeah, you hear that? That's yeah. this lady. Yeah. All right, get get back to the crazy section. <laughs> crazy, you lost a member. You lost <laughs> one team member. Three. So, yeah, uh, you, you are correct, Spence. Randy Pope's in first. Haley Deegan second. Kevin KSR third. Adam LZ fourth. And rounding out top five, Blake Wilkie. Yeah, we've not even really no. spoke about Blake in that 357 car, but there he is in the fifth position. And Tanner Faust, with having to replace those tires, slides all the way back to seventh with Travis Pastrana currently sitting in sixth. <laughs> there we go. Brewski for the hey Brewski. Hey, guys, this is Cleeter. Cleeter reporting live from the 99. Cletus, you've had all kinds of issues, buddy. How y'all feeling tonight? <laughs> Dude, fire me up. I blew my cool hose off doing donuts for you guys. But hey, this is America. Hey, you guys want to get a USA chant going for old Cleet? USA! 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 You guys are too freaking cool. You guys are the coolest fans ever. Hey, Spicy, we got 18 more laps left of the 100. <laughs> Who? That's, that's crazy to think that we're at lap number 82. How many cars we got left out there? I'm Two, sure with four, 13, six, eight, about 13, 13 left out. 13 cars left. Yeah. That means we've ran through the 20 that we're starting plus the seven additional backup. <laughs> Yikes. So basically half. <laughs> yeah. I bet Cletus recycles a lot of vehicles. <laughs> no, these go on the market tomorrow. Barely used, Crown Vicks, used One once. Owner. Here we go. Randy Pope's out front. Haley Deegan in second. Kevin KSR third. Adam LZ in fourth. And as we said, oh, look at this. Look to LZ and Haley. She holds on to it. She slaps. She goes hard into the wall. Oh, she oh, almost no. had it straight oh. out. They're still wrecking oh, over there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. We're seeing up on the high side. We are still green. There's oh, there the it is. There yeah. it is. So, yeah, it looks oh. like Heavy D. Heavy D kept trying to stay in it, but he slammed. And Haley Deegan, I think she got hit by about every oh, other yeah. car that was out there. Oh, oh man. God. Hey, can we, we get a round of applause for Haley Deegan's 83 lap performance? Haley yeah, Deegan, our only female driver, made it over 80 laps. That's some freaking driving right there. I'll let her get my groceries anytime. So here it is. Look at this. Here's the replay. You can see. We are losing cars fast. Boom. Yeah. Hey. So a he heavy D hey guys. and. What's up, Cleet? from the 99. Y'all want to see me hit the pace van? Yeah. Absolutely, all right. yes. You hit it enough, right, Cletus, you'll get all your laps back. Hit the van. Hit the van. Hit the van. Louder. Louder. Keep it going. Hit the van. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> Blake passes the van. <laughs> Poor van doesn't oh. know what's going on. The van, Poor the van. pace van is now Poor lap van. traffic. <laughs> Spin him out. Hit the van. <laughs> They're all getting a piece of the summit. Racing equipment delivery van. <laughs> Everyone back in formation, dude. Dude, yeah, when I say JH, you say JH, JH. Who's driving that damn truck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. 17 <laughs> laps. We got 17 laps to go. Randy Pope still out front, the 3113, the flying moose. Guys, while we're under caution, can I get a big round of applause for my co-hosts, Jared DeAnda and Larry Mack Reynolds, America's Crew Chiefs, my men upstairs doing their thing. They're keeping us entertained, keeping the pay-per-view rolling, giving us the best show of our lives so that, yeah, 
I know I'm talking to people, bro. <laughs> <laughs> thank Larry. you guys so much. You oh, guys thank are the you. Man. Thank you. Spence, you're a man of many talents, uh, crushing hot dogs, singing the national anthem, and looking darn good doing it. Larry, and again, it's just a, a privilege and an honor to do something. Not not just not just any racing, but this kind of racing. It's just funny, man. It's just it's really cool. Been fun, fun stuff. I, I think the biggest question, how many drivers do we have? left on the lead lap. I don't, I don't know that we have a lot that's left on the lead I lap. I think five. To, to be honest, I think five because, you know, we had we had Tanner Faust go off. He got his tires, so he's down quite a few laps. I believe five. That's Randy Popes. You have Kevin KSR, Haley Deegan, and Adam LZ, and Blake Wilkie. But now Haley Deegan, yeah, that's she right. has gone to the garage area, oh. so we may only have three or four drivers that's left on the lead lap. So this could just be who can survive these next 17 laps. Oh, oh look at that thing. Woo. Wee. So, yeah, that's the 801. That's heavy D. And it, it feels like forever ago, but it feels like just, just moments ago when, when we barely made 10 laps. We saw a, a bunch of carnage prior to just getting 10 laps completed. But we Maybe. definitely got into some longer green flag runs here. But as I said, now we're getting in the closing lap, Spence. And this is where they start running over the top of each Larry other. Larry Mack, could you do us a favor down here and give us the top five? Who's going to be finishing this race? I mean, we only got 17 laps left. Give us the rundown of who can potentially be the Freedom Factory 500 second event, winner, second, and third. Well, our scoring has not caught completely up, but what we do know is Randy Popes in the 31-13, he is leading the race. Kevin KSR in the 78 is second. Okay. We think... Adam LZ in the 05 is third, and Blake Wilkie maybe in the 357 is fourth. We're getting confirmation. Yep. That's at least the top four right there. Wow. Because all the other drivers are down laps. So such as Tanner Faust, Pastrana, you know, you got Sue in the side-by-side -side blog. They are laps down. So you mean to tell me we only have four drivers on Four the that we lap. know of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I think it's the fans' fault. They keep cheering and yelling every time somebody wads up into the wall. Where did we find these people? I, I'm over here, you know, driving. I got to say, the experience with having fans here is insane. You guys are freaking awesome. Like... You know, I planned on driving a nice, chill, relaxing <laughs> race, you know, staying in the middle of the pack, driving smart. You guys started cheering, and I just ended up crashing because I was so fired up. So thank you. Hell yeah, brother. Thank you, Cletus. Thank you for being the, the, the madman behind this whole factory. I was going to say, before we go back racing, how about everybody give Cletus McFarlane the biggest hand you've given anybody tonight. You! Yeah, it is, it is just awesome to see the, the smiles on the fans. I mean, the, the, such loyal fan base and just co the collective 20 drivers, their crews, their teams, everybody just having fun, man. And, and to be honest, this is for bragging rights. Yes, this it is, is. That's what it is more than anything. <laughs> and uh, I haven't seen the trophy. Maybe the Summit Van is the trophy. Here we go. We got one more lap. That was a little fake, uh, fake last lap there. You know what we say, Jared. What's that? Cautions breed cautions. So okay. we're probably not done with that little yellow flag mm. just yet. Mm. All right. The yeah. Summit Van pulls off. Spence, what's going on? I don't know. Everybody's shouting. I'm into it. Let's shout some more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. I had a gentleman come up to me just a second ago, and he goes, my wife needs a boyfriend like you. <laughs> and I said, sir, I am very taken and very happy, but it sounds like you need to work on some of your wife. <laughs> Let's go, Here racing. we go. We got 17 laps to go. Send it, Randy Popes, the flying moose. Boy. Getting challenged by Kevin of KSR. What a run. Kevin and KSR in the 78 got off turns one and two, but Randy's going to shut what? the door through three and four. The yellow caution flag already. is waving again. You, you cursed us. You said cautions breed cautions. I don't make you, this stuff up, Jerry. Oh, man. You just, you just talk about it. Oh, somebody jumped the start. So just to confirm, we do know that Randy Popes, the 3113, is leading. Kevin KSR in the 78 is second. 
Adam LZ in the 05 is fourth, and Blake Wilkie in that 357. He, he is fourth. Adam LZ yep. is third. Yep. All right. What is going on here? Oh, boy. The side-by-side -side blog, the pink, the pink destroyer there comes in. Oh, look at that. Way deep. LZ taking a high line. Look at Wilkie. He's up in second now. Blake Wilkie in second. And I don't know what kind of line he's running. He's running He's running three wide by himself right. pretty much. Well, and look at Tanner Faust. Remember, he is laps down, but he currently sits in what I would say fifth because Haley Deegan, she's a scratch. She is not out there right now. Tanner, excuse me, Travis Pastrana in the back of the pack. All right, 16 more laps, and now 15 from Mr. Popes. Oh, what do we got here? Kevin KSR in that 78 car in all that melee. We got all these white cars out there. He took the lead. In fact, Randy Popes has been has fallen wow. all the way back to the fourth spot in that 31-13. Yeah, so LZ, you can see that. So KSR, Kevin, taking the lead and a significant lead at that. Where did he find this horsepower? Yeah, he is, he is just driven away. Yeah, it, they got all bogged up over there and he just drove up there to the front right now randy popes who has pretty much dominated this second half of the oh, race we got him spinning Charles down Rajana Rajana wiped out four. again we stay green though He's in right reverse. <laughs> travis goes in the inside we are still racing send it come on fellas pastrana finds himself on the inside here comes cletus Cletus is pulling into the center. It looks like his car is done for. Yeah, he's pulling into the skid pad. That thing's still got some more wobbles. There's Cletus. Not a whole lot left for the old 9-9. Oh, man. She's tired. Oh, look at that. The, uh, the 435 diesel Dave. And Cleet down there in the skid pad. We have, we are coming up. With KSR, when he makes this lap, we have 10 laps to go. What a battle for second and third back there, though, we've got between 05, Adam LZ, Blake Wilkie in the 357, and Randy Popes in the 31-13. Tight battle for second. So Kevin at KSR is just not even part of this equation right now. He is running his own race. He's got the clean air, and now 10 laps, less than 10 laps to find out, will Kevin KSR take it all the way? We saw Tanner lead the most laps of any racer, and then gets that flat tire, and now here he is way back quite a bit. Yeah, we've definitely had a lot of changing of the guard. I go back to a little story I told, though, at the beginning we of the race. We are down to nine laps to go, folks. The Freedom 500 is coming to a conclusion. I want to hear you guys make some noise to see the race finish of a lifetime. If you aren't standing up, you're not invited back. <laughs> <laughs> He's got, that guy's like, I'm standing up. If you aren't standing up, you're not invited back. Spence, I see no one sitting down. Yeah. I think nope. everybody's standing up. All right, you up. can stay. You got infants with you, but you can stand. You can stand. You can stand. Thank you for your service, sir. We appreciate it. Make some noise for the Freedom 500. Let's see these racers finish. Spencer crushing beers, crushing Red Bulls, crushing a good time. Larry, I know Spence cut you off on your story, but uh, if, if you will, what, what does it remind you of? we got seven laps to go. Well, just thinking about Kevin KSR, you know, he showed me today his little 10-year-old daughter, Karis, made, right. it, made it, didn't give him a bracelet, made him a bracelet that said a racer. And right now, he's six laps from being a winner in the Freedom 500. The second ever making history here at the Freedom Factory. This place was built on Freedom. We'll see if Kevin Smith can take it to the top in that number 78 as uh, when he crosses the finish line. Five laps left to go. Stomp your feet. Make some noise. All right, guys, factory. on the opposite side of the track, you'll see the race leader on the opposite straightaway, number 78. He's got nobody around him. This is only his race to lose. Kevin Smith with KSR Performance, the builder of Garrett's six-second car mullet, uncontested, our potential race victor, unless he has a blowout or something crazy happened. The race is his to win. Braggy writes, for a lifetime, the Freedom 500 could be his. But what could happen is this battle back there for yep. second. These guys are going at it. Adam LZ and Randy Popes, they continue to beat on each other. 
Three laps left to go. Spence, Larry Mack, I'm Jared Deanda. Summit Racing Equipment, Freedom 500. We saw many different leaders. And look at that. The checkered and white are out, bud. Three laps to go. This is two when he crossed the finish line. Kevin Smith of KSR hits the nitrous. The light goes on. Did you see that I there, Larry? I did see that. Good time to use it now. That is perfect. Don't, don't leave here with any left in the tank. That's right. The, oh, look at Randy Popes. He goes for the nitrous. Randy trying to pull up on LZ. The white flag is out. Make some noise, Freedom Factory. Let's go. Kevin Smith was not part of the equation, and now he has a grand canyon of a gap ahead of second and third of Adam LZ and Randy Popes. And then Tanner Faust, here we go. Make some noise for our checkered flag is out, and it is waving, and it looks like yes! Kevin Smith of KSR oh gets the win. Kevin Smith! Randy Popes, 31-13, beat Adam L LZ back to the line to get that second spot. Kevin Smith was all over that nitrous button oh, those last man. few laps. He was pushing it through the dash. Spence up there getting the crowd hyped. Make I some noise, folks! You just watched the very first Freedom 500 with a live audience. Kevin Smith on the finish line with a victory. Make some noise! And Kevin Smith takes it to the top in that KSR 78 yes, celebratory burnout. Up the wall. Yes! Give me some smoke, baby. We got the Summit Racing Man. They're losing their minds. Oh my God. Oh my God. Woo! All right, where's the checkered? Oh, you already gave it to him? The phones are out. Everybody's taking it. Be sure to tag Put everybody on the here. Show. Everybody get your phones out. Record this. Turn your flashlights on. Look at that shot. Right oh, there, that, there. That, That's awesome. that is a skid pad if I've ever seen one. Absolutely amazing. Hats off to Cletus and the whole game. Oh, my God. Spencer, where'd you go, bud? Spencer, where are you? That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Adam LZ lighting him up out there. You got that. Kevin Smith. And look at Travis, the smile on his face. What do we got? The van. Oh, the van. <laughs> and is the just... back door's coming open. <laughs> Special <laughs> delivery. Yeah. Day 8 Childebrand in that Summit Racing Equipment Delivery van. He said, I'm going to have some fun too, boys. Want... I've got a lot of laps on this racetrack tonight. Oh, he loves it. That's what, that's a show, B-Bong, make some noise! Can I get a hell yeah, brother? All right, I'm gonna go find the winner and we're gonna get this man a checkered flag with a victory lap if his car still works, <laughs> if it ain't on the rims. All right, Spence, you see him? You see, um, it, maybe you can help me. I'm in the thick of this. Uh, I don't see him either. <laughs> can barely see through the smoke. What number is he? 78. 78. 78. 78. I believe he's there on the right. Yeah, there he is. He's All right. right there in the I'm middle. I'm going to go give this to him. Yeah, he's getting out of his car right now, it looks like, Spence. Guys, make some noise for Kevin Smith. They're running down here in the center of the burnout pit. We have the there unofficial he is. winner. Oh, the Freedom 500, here you go, buddy. Dude, you gotta take a lap. You gotta do a slow lap, bud. Dude, you gotta do a slow lap. The fans wanna see it, brother. You gotta do a lap. Spence, tell him to do oh. it backwards where the fans can see him. Go the, go the opposite way. Victor, oh, it's dead. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to the second annual Freedom 500. All right, the loudest you can scream. Let's give it up from Kevin from KSR. Let's hear it. There we go, dude.
Hey, Kevin's been chasing this for a few rounds, man. His third one. Look, I'm going to be honest, guys. That was way messier than I <laughs> thought it was going to be. <laughs> I remember I was talking to Travis last night. I was like, oh, man, we got a bunch of pro-level, clean drivers. Dude, that was the most savage race yet. Hey, did you, did you guys have fun, though? <laughs> hey, man, uh, shout out to all these drivers for coming so freaking far. I mean, Tanner, for example, dude, these guys just making big trips out here to make this happen. Kevin KSR, our freaking winner. Let's give it up for all the drivers in the Summer Racing Free to 500 2021. Dude, fire me up. Who's coming back for Cletus and Cars tomorrow? <laughs> all right, dude, we got a hell of a show planned for all you guys tomorrow. Right now, we got to go into full breakdown mode and turn the Freedom Factory into a burnout stadium. So, y'all, get some sleep. Get ready for one hell of a show tomorrow. Let's hear it one more time for the 2021 Summer Racing Freedom 500. Make some noise! Okay. Make some all noise right. for Cletus McFarlane, all the fans. Again, another big round of applause for Cletus McFarlane, the Freedom Factory Summit Racing Equipment Freedom 500 has been tremendous. Spencer, thank you so much, man. Really, really appreciate everything you've done. Good party. And tomorrow, man, you're going to get even more wild, aren't you? Oh, dude, we're going to turn up tomorrow. So the good news is if you purchase the pay-per-view at home, you can tune in for the Cletus and Cars burnout competition tomorrow. And it sounds like we got a lot of the fans coming back for more. We're going to give a quick readout of the final race official results right here. Cletus, give it to us. <laughs> Let me see here, bro. Ooh, I, last place, last place. No, it can't be. Whistling Diesel. <laughs> hey, look, it's not. No, no, no. It's this thing on. It's, it's not. Not technically last place. It's yeah. a DNF. Oh, you did get DNF. Yeah, right. Doesn't count as last place. Yeah, no. We're giving last place to Heavy D. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we go. First place, Kevin from KSR Fab. Second place by only 2.5 seconds, Randy Post. There he is. Third place, Adam LZ. Dude. Fourth place, Blake Wilkie. Fifth place, Tanner Faust. Sixth place, Seuss from Side by Side Blog. Seventh place, Taylor Ray. Eighth place, Haley Deegan. Ninth place, Travis Pastrano. Oh, wait, one more for the top 10. Diesel Dave, number 10. That's your top 10, guys. Let's hear it. All right, so for all you guys coming back tomorrow for Cleese and Cars, this whole crew is about to spend several hours cleaning up the facility, putting in barriers, building a burnout pad. We got temporary bleachers. It's going to be amazing. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. But, uh, hey, Alan, we got anything else? Are we good? Close it out? Listen to all you guys at home and everyone here at the Freedom Factory, thank you for making the 2021 Summer Racing Freedom 500 as special as any, more special than any event before. Hell yeah, brother. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. Thank you so much to Cletus and the whole team. Larry, your thoughts in just a, a historic, iconic event that is Summit Racing Freedom 500. Yeah, again, I had the privilege of doing the 2.4-hour mullets in November, but this one right here just was amazing. And, and to your point earlier, we kept seeing that changing of the guard. You know, we thought Alex Bowman in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, it's Tanner Faust that's just dominating. And then Randy Popes, he dominates. And then after that last restart, Kevin Smith just came out of nowhere, the seized, departed over off turn two, and he just drives away with the victory. It was awesome. Really great event. 19 crown Vicks. We went through more than that. I think we went through, yeah. with the, do the math here, 25 yes. crown Vicks yes. and one Toyota Camry. But uh, history was made. Thank you for joining us here. Again, join us again tomorrow for Cletus and Cars. On behalf of Larry Max, Spencer, of course, Cletus McFarland, the whole team, I'm Jared Deanna. Thank you so much. We'll see you online. We'll see you another time. Send it! Freedom Factory.